Hello everybody! Welcome back to Talos 2 Electric Boogaloo DLC 2 Electric Boogaloo. We've got so, so much boogaloo going on in here. What am I on about? We're off to a, a smashing start. <laughs> but hello everybody! Welcome! Welcome on in. Welcome to another Puzzle Sunday stream. Uh, I'm testing out new positioning for my, my tracking at the moment, so my tracking might be a, a bit wobbly at times. I may have to adjust things, but we're going to see how it goes, and I'm going to try my best. <laughs> but welcome in, everybody! It is Sunday! It's the, the end of the weekend, but I hope everyone's been having a good weekend. I feel like it was probably better than mine. I've had a bit of a rough re yeah, blah, 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 weekend. A bit of a rough weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try actually say words, that usually helps. <laughs> I've had a rough weekend, but that just makes me even happier that I had this to look forward to. Like, I'm so glad I I could be like, okay, things are tough. At least I've got some harder puzzles to look forward to. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. But hello, welcome in everybody. Timochi, congratulations on the first. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Bree, thank you for doing the, the backseat command. I love that you did it at the, the exact same time I sent my message as well. <laughs> they went through at the same time. Thank you so much. Primal Z, hello. Thank you for doing the puzzles command. Very, very important. The, the most important exclamation point command on my channel, I would dare say. No, I guess the Xander one's pretty important too, but puzzles is up there. <laughs> but uh, welcome, welcome. And Zariad, hello. Your 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 search for cat is hopefully over if a cat girl is okay. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's I hope everyone's had a good weekend though. And Akira, thank you for the doot as well and for the head pat. Welcome on in. I hope I hope everyone's had a good weekend. Mine has been really rough. I've got a lot of uh, family stuff, like real life stuff going on at the moment, and it's not been the nicest weekend. But it also could have gone so much worse, so I'm counting my blessings. <laughs> but uh, it's like I don't want to talk about too much. I don't. I don't want to like get into too many real life things. Like this is like a bit of escapism. I don't, I don't want to go like deep into that stuff. But uh, it's been a bit, a bit of a time. But I'm I'm okay, and I think everyone I care about is okay. We're, we're making it through. Things are okay. So like in the vaguest, <laughs> the vaguest way I can. It's like things, things were bad, but they're looking to be not bad. So it should be okay. That's, <laughs> I'm not saying anything, am I? I'm, <laughs> I'm not really saying anything at all with that. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just glad. I've been looking forward to puzzle times because I am, so excited for doing some more puzzles in this because last time I I managed to complete the hexahedron in area 2 in DLC 2 so all I have left there now is the two sphinx statues which I have a little idea about at least one of them and the three gold puzzles which I am very excited for and then I should hopefully be hopping into the abyss it depends if I can actually do the puzzles I guess but I believe. But uh, uh, what did the tomato say to the other tomato during a race? Ketchup. <laughs> I love that you always enter with a pun. Thank you. <laughs> but welcome, Leonard. Welcome on in. I'm. Oh, your weekend finished. Almost slept all day. Too hot. Now just eating pizza. Well, eating pizza is a, a good way to spend the weekend at least. So I'm glad you've got that. And uh and Tim, Bunny fell in the pool while you were playing volleyball. Canopy blew up onto the roof because of high wind. Went surfing. That is wild. That's so wild. I hope everyone's okay. I hope the Bunny's okay. I hope you got the canopy back. <laughs> but I hope you've been having a good time. The surfing sounds like a lot of fun. I've never done anything like remotely adjacent to surfing. The most I have done involving the ocean is paddled around a bit at like the beach that's that's the the only ocean stuff i've ever done <laughs> and oh zaria just want to say you're sitting on 6k points and hope you catch the next xander stream because you know how much he hates the uwa voice this is a threat <gasps> no it's a it's a promise it's a promise it's a blessing 
<laughs> but yeah, I managed to fix the dropping emotes. It was honestly like the, the easiest fix. I'd just forgotten to like re-enable a setting. And when I, when I looked through, I was like, why did this turn itself off? Oh, okay, well, it's back now. <laughs> so you can drop emotes on my head again. Good times. Also, Suzume, hello. Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Happy Puzzle Sunday. I'm ready for hard puzzles. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Because for everything I've heard is that the Into the Abyss DLC has the hardest puzzles. But also, I still need to do the gold puzzles. And the gold ones are always harder as well. So I'm, I'm going to be warming up with hard puzzles. <laughs> That's my warm-up. My warm-up is going to be the gold puzzles in Area 2. And then hopefully I can move on to Area 3, because I'm really excited to check it out. Because it looks like it's going to be... Like, if, if DLC 2 is from Yakut's perspective, I'm pretty sure 3 is from Byron's perspective, like when he was trapped. So I am... Like when he was trapped in the megastructure. So I am really excited to check that out. But not yet. We have the Isle of the Blessed first. It's like, look at this. I've got all of the regular puzzles. I've got all the lost puzzles. I've done two thirds of the, the monument stars. And I haven't done any of the gold puzzles yet, but there's only three of them. So that is my aim for now. Uh, Sphinx puzzles were too hard for you. I had to come back to them after DLC 3. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm really surprised at how difficult I'm finding the Sphinx puzzles. But I do have an idea, an idea that I've been ruminating on over the past, uh, wrong button, <laughs> over the past week. Like, I was looking at this. And the fact that this has, like, scenery in the background makes me wonder if, like, this is a hint as to where it is. Like, this looks like... Well, it looks like the top of a wall, but with palm trees on it. And then if I look at this one... I'm not I'm not as sure about this one, but it looks... It, it reminds me of... There was the one level where I was looking up at the top, and it had loads of, like, beams. Like this. And I'm wondering if it's going to be near that puzzle inside those beams. Because I, I think I even made a joke. Like, the puzzle where you, like, walk up the wall... I, I remember thinking, like, I wonder if you can get up there, and then I qu very quickly decided, no, that's not part of this puzzle. But now that I'm looking at this, it looks like this could be, like, inside an area surrounded by pillars. And then this one d just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a look at the map and stuff and see what's going on. But I have ideas. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to have a look here. Right, because there's so many, like, little strips and bits around the place. Right, I'm going to start by teleporting to here because I want to go and check out that... I don't remember which puzzle it was, but it was like... Was it in the... Yeah, it was in the red area. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember which puzzle it was. But uh, that's that's like my main thought at the moment. This one. This one. See, look at these, like, the way the, the beams are here. It makes me think it's, like, around here somewhere. Because it looks like the beams. It looks like, like, when you look at, when you look at this, it's got the same, like, that. That's, like, the only lead I have to go on at the moment. But then if it is here, I have no idea where or how so I'm, I'm gonna start by just like walking up let's, let's have a walk around oh my god i see it whoa i see it how do i get there i don't know how i can get there i see buttons i see that's that i see the buttons it is here it is here it is the oh my goodness i i feel clever i feel very proud of myself right now. Now the only question is how do I get there? Because I'm kind of walking on the wall right now. I think if I try... No, I can't like jump like that. How do I get there? Okay, walk 
looking up here. It's like on the other side of this. I'm in the wrong direction. Hmm. But yeah, I'm glad I noticed that though, because it was like, I. it was something I was thinking about. Like all week, I was just looking at these two images, trying to figure out if there are any hints. And I'm glad to know I'm on the right track. <laughs> now I just need to figure out how to get there because I definitely see the buttons. How do I, how do I do this? I wonder if there's a way like up and around from the outside. I, hmm. Okay, this is me standing with my feet flat on the ground. There is cube here. I don't know if I could use cube. Please cube. An angle to get caught. I don't think it will let me. No, it fell. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a try. Uh, sometimes you forget this game's made by the same people that did Serious Sam. Yeah! <laughs> it is such a different... A different type of game. It's so good. And uh, uh, don't f okay, have a fun stream, good health, and most important, remember to smile. Oh, thank you for stopping in. Glad you could make it in, but I hope you have a good, a good time as well. Good rest of your day. Thank you for being here. Hmm. Right, I'm wondering, I'm gonna have a look around the outside of the puzzle and see if there's a way. Can get around like from the side maybe I really don't think there is what how the heck do I get there there has to be a way it has to be a way to get in there because that's where the buttons are <laughs> all right well what else do I even have here like I have a drill the drill is not helpful around here can I make it like up this way wait hold on I'm gonna, br I'm gonna bring the cube over to the other side like up here let's see if there's anything I can do around here because hmm. I'm wondering what if like I put this here so it will stay there what if I oh okay I'm like, what if I... I was like, if I could jump onto it the other way around. Like this. Oh, kind of. Kind of. It went a bit wobbly. I couldn't stand fully because I was in the way. I can use that to jump. I, 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 I think I've realized what to do. I can use this to jump, I think. If I place this... And then I will jump onto the side of it, and then I can jump up. Like, I'll use this as my little platform here. Because then, if I go here, then hopefully... It might let me... It might let me jump onto the side of it. I... Come on. I don't want to jump on the top of it. I, I want to jump on that part of it. If I do that... And then... And then do that, yeah. Whoa, whoa. No, not quite. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. Oh, this one was the last thing you did in DLC and was super surprising, satisfying to find. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I already feel satisfied over the fact that I recognized where it is. Like, there's gotta be a way I can. I want to be on the side of it, not the, the top of it. Oh, unless I do jump on the top of it. Hmm, okay. Hold on, actually. 
Put this right here. Oh, no, I missed it. I, I jumped too far. Okay. Okay. <gasps> I did it. I did it. I did it. I jumped on. Ha! <laughs> ha! I jumped on it. And I didn't fall off. Yes! Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, I feel like a genius. Okay. No, I did it the opposite way around, I think. There we go, yes! I heard it! I did it! Oh, and I got an achievement, Cat Lady! <laughs> oh, the achievement's called Cat Lady! Yes, that is, that is the best way to start a stream. What a good way to start a stream. I get an achievement called Cat Lady. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so proud! Oh, that... I feel satisfied figuring that out. That's That was really cool. Like, I feel like the other Sphinx puzzles weren't as, like... Like that, if you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it feels like a different type of puzzle. But I am so here for it. I love it. Oh, you used that box to get there before you saw it. So seeing it actually <laughs> it was such a surprise. Oh, wait, hold on. Byron wants to say more. Hi? Congratulations, Yakut. Maybe one of these days you'll give 1K a run for his money. Oh! What's next for humanity? What's next for humanity? Now we stop surviving and we start living. Nice. All right. Talk to you later. Nice. I agree. Oh, I feel so proud of that, though. Right, so then the other Sphinx is in the first area, and, like, looking at the image, like, this looks like it's in the first area. This looks like... A, it's either, like, a strip of land or, like, the top of a wall. It kind of looks like the top of a wall to me, but I don't think I've seen any walls with palm trees on. I'm not sure, but let I'm gonna go have a look. Whoop. Right, because there was a... There was a map around here, right? Maybe? Oh, I, th I think I went the wrong way for the map, but that's fine. We can just walk across here now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's, let's go back to the first area. And I want to figure that out. I, I want to get... Oh, wait, I should actually go get the star <laughs> before I forget. Oh, no, I, forgot I, I forgot I didn't actually collect it. Oops. Uh. That would have been funny. Also, I've got to say too, before I collect this, I love here, uh, it's a clue, just in case I decide to solve these monument puzzles. And then this one, uh, I always thought this Sphinx had a really cool voice. And honestly, me too, Yakut. And he's doing a good job. What have you got? I do not wear the cheese. <laughs> the cheese wears me. Yakut. What? Are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's completely normal. Just solving star puzzles. All right. But make sure your processor isn't overheating, okay? Uh, sure. <laughs> Will do. He sounds so embarrassed. I love that. But why cheese? Why cheese? You know what? Why not cheese? That, I'm, I'm asking the wrong questions here. Why cheese? Doesn't matter. Cheese is great. Right. Oh, see, there's loads of palm trees over there. Like, on a little strip. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna... Photo mode. Yeah, it looks like that. That's That looks like the... The shape. That looks like the... the thing. Hmm. Then where are the buttons gonna be? Are they gonna be, like, actually on this strip? Hmm. Is there a way I can get over, like, here? 
Or maybe there's a path in the water. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Deep enough philosophy is indistinguishable from gibberish. So true. Hi, Artem. Welcome. Oh, I think all of Yakut's monument comments are references to 90s TV shows. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that a Buffy reference? Oh, I love that. Babylon 5 references. Oh, see, I'm, I'm so bad with TV shows. I... I never watched much, like interesting tv like the, the the classic tv shows that everyone's like yeah this is great uh i didn't watch many of those can i just okay it's getting deeper now i'm wondering if there is gonna be like a shallower path that i can take all the way over oh i think there is oh maybe no it's hmm hmm yeah, no, it's getting deeper again. I, d I don't think I can go this way. But I'm wondering if I might be able to from end of the laser. Possibly. But yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at watching TV shows. I've, I've not watched many of the, the classics. Uh, I think the things that most people are amazed of are that I've never watched Supernatural. I've not watched Doctor Who. I've watched about six episodes of Doctor Who in my entire life. But I've never actually, like, sat down to watch Doctor Who regularly. <laughs> uh, what else haven't I watched? I never watched Buffy. I did watch Charmed. I really like Charmed. That was, that was a good show. Alright, I wonder if I can make it over. No, it's gone deep again. I can't make it over. I wonder if there's more. There might be more, more strips of, of land like that, that that I can actually reach. Hmm. Oh, maybe there? No, that seems really far away as well. Hmm. It's really interesting seeing where the deep water starts and how far in I can splash around. It's quite fun. <laughs> right, oh, the only Doctor Who I need to watch is the one with the angels. Funnily enough, that's that's actually one of the first episodes I ever watched. <laughs> I, that's one of the few ones I've watched, and it was because Xander said, you need to watch this episode. That's the whole reason why I watched the one with the, the weeping angels. Just because Xander was like, hey, I know I know you don't watch Doctor Who, just watch this episode. And it was incredible. I really loved it. But it's like the other episodes aren't like that. <laughs> so it's just the kind of thing where like I never disliked it or anything. I never like watched an episode and was like, oh I don't like this show. It just like I just had different things I would rather do. I never got into Doctor Who. And it always amazes people because they're like, well, how, how can you be British and not watch Doctor Who? I'm just like, this, it's, it's not just me. There are many of us out here. Oh, I thought that was like a dig spot as well. It's just, it's just a rock. I just like rocks. Alright, what else? Right, well, the, the monument itself is over here. That's what's it. At least I've remembered I have the compass this time. <laughs> oh, no, that's the, the Prometheus one. Okay. It's here. Not here. Oh, it's here. There. Yes, there it is. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, have I watched Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie? I... I have watched that. I have watched the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie, but I read the books way before then. <laughs> I, I read the I read the books. I, I know the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy from the books. Before the movies even came out. 
but I, I, I love The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's such a good series. Also, I just realized I never actually said hi to you as well, so sigh, hello. <laughs> Welcome, just went straight into talking about The Weeping Angels. Yeah, it, it looks like it's that strip of land where those trees are. Would it be like a spot where I can see them at this angle? Is that where the buttons are going to be? Is that what I would have to do? Because it would be like... I feel like that would be on the bridge though, hold on. <laughs> uh, what are the Leary book recommendations? Honestly, um, I've, I mostly used to read a lot of like young adult fantasy stuff. Like, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was, like, a rare exception. I don't have many, like, amazing book recommendations, but Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy are so good. I also really love Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett books are so good. Uh, what else? Oh, I, I actually used to read a lot of, like... Like, sci-fi horror stuff, like War of the Worlds and stuff. And the Day of the Triffids, like, that kind of thing. <laughs> It would be this kind of place to see it from. I don't know, unless it'd be the other end. Unless it's just the other thing entirely. I, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I guess maybe I should photo mode and try and look from a bit higher up again. I'm gonna go back to here. <laughs> Oh, that that was that felt really satisfying to complete. I didn't feel like doing the the hexahedron was like super difficult. It was more just disorienting. Like figuring out the puzzles felt quite straightforward to me. Like there were only a couple of times when it took me a while. It was like keeping your bearings and remembering where you were that was like the biggest puzzle and I I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I would say that, but I really enjoyed um getting lost. <laughs> And not, not realizing which way up I was. Right, I'm going to photo mode again. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go as high up as I can. Right, because like this is in the middle. It might be this. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I think that might connect. I think I can get over there. It might be this. I think it might be this. I think I see it. Okay, okay, okay. And that's actually uh, really close to the gold puzzle. So maybe, maybe I should dip my nose into the gold puzzle and see what's going on. Cause I am curious as to what the gold puzzles are gonna be like. Yeah, oh, nothing wrong with young adult fantasy. Yeah, I, I really like them. Honestly, it's like, I, I still love that genre of book. Like, I feel like a lot of the time, the books I tend to read tend to be young adult books. Because sometimes I find that with books that are written, like, quote unquote, for adults, sometimes, like, there's there, there are quite a few authors who will, like, purposely add more flourish to the words in a way that I personally don't really like. I'm not one for flowery language. I, When I read a book, I prefer getting a story out of it than like the actual literature aspect to it, which is like, it's it's completely taste. It's completely personal taste. And I would never, I would never say that writing incredible poetry, po po poetry, uh, poetic, poetic writing i would never say it's bad but i prefer like clear writing with a with an easily told story over like really like i don't know how to describe it but i th yeah I'm, I'm just like the the words are not working at the moment let me let me do this you know what i haven't done you know what i didn't do i didn't open my monster yet so i should do that but yeah, it's all personal taste for me, though. It's like when I read a book, I, I don't read it for the writing. Most of the time, I read it for the story. The Prisoner. Ooh. 
going to break the prisoner out. So that's all personal taste. And it's also like, it depends as well. Sometimes I will read a book that has got like the weirdest writing and really, really enjoy it. Like, I, I realize I'm saying all of this stuff now and then I'm like, you know what one of my recent favorite books is? Gideon the Ninth, which is one of the weirdest written books, a uh, compliment <laughs> that I have possibly ever read. But, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It is such a wild adventure. It is just an incredibly wild adventure. And I love it. Ah, oh, favorite story? I, I don't know. I don't think I could pick a favorite. I don't know, like, the, the ones that stick in my mind, I'm not sure. Right, if I... Oh wait, no, that's connected to blue. I do need, I need to keep it connected to red. Oh, so I can keep them both open. It's a switchy one. So if I do that... Ah, oh, wait, you stepped away. Which book was The Wild Adventure? Uh, Gideon the Ninth. It's a, it's like a space necromancy lesbians, and it's the kind of book where I was not sure what I was reading the whole time, and I loved it. <laughs> right, that's keeping this door open, but if I pick that up, it's, I'm going to lose it. However... However, if I put it here, I'll be able to take it out. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I need to be in there. Oh, I might need to be in there at some point, but if I do, I can then just use the regular connector. So now from here, I can open that. Now I have a regular connector I could use to keep the blue open if I wanted. Right. Oh, this that's the prisoner! It's me! I gotta break a me out! Alright. So now I just need to get the red laser around all these bends. <laughs> oh, and there's a jammer! If I can get that jammer out. Ooh. Oh! Wait, I see what to do. I need to connect this to here. I need this to be red, so I need to line up the other one. So that I connect the red with the door and also that connector. Ha ha ha! Yeah, oh yes, very much enjoyed Lock Tomb. I, I still need to read the other books. I've only read Gideon the Ninth. I haven't read the others yet, and I need to. I've just been so busy <laughs> that I haven't had the chance to. Right, now the problem is, when I pick this up, this is what is keeping this door open. So doing that will break that. So then I would have to use the jammer anyway to open this. So not quite, maybe. Oh my goodness, aye aye! Aye aye, Captain, come on in! Welcome! Welcome, Raiders! Welcome on in! How's it going? I forgot to copy raid message! Good raid message. I approve of it. <laughs> welcome, welcome! How's it going? How did the Crypt Master go? I've seen people playing that. That game looks so cool. It looks like such a such a cool game. I want to play it. But uh, welcome on! <laughs> there we go, that's the raid message. <laughs> welcome in, Raiders! Welcome, aye aye! Thank you so much for stopping in. Welcome. Let me look away from the puzzle for a second while I introduce myself. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today is big puzzle time. I'm big braining. I am currently playing the DLC for the Talos Principle 2, which is one of my favorite puzzle games uh, behind the first Talos Principle. <laughs> And the DLC, uh, I'm currently on the second, the second part of the DLC. It's a three-part DLC. So I'm doing the harder parts of this area, and then I'll be moving on to the third one, hopefully. 
but it is so good. It's so fun. But, ah, you'll look. It doesn't run on your potato PC. Oh no, I hope you get to play it soon. I hope you do get the chance to play it because it is so good. It's a really fun game. Like they, they really added so many interesting new mechanics to the game, but it still felt like Talos. It's, it's so good. It's really, really good. But oh, I, I, it's a fun game. It has good voice acting, very pleasing aesthetics, and you think I'd like it. I think I'd like it too. It seems like the kind of game I would enjoy. Like the bits I've seen other people playing of it, I've instantly been like, oh, I gotta check that out. Seems like the kind of game I would like. <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it. But uh, thank you so much for returning the raid because <laughs> I got to raid you earlier in the week. <laughs> but uh, I hope you had a lovely stream. If you have to head off, go get some rest, get some food or drink. You don't have to stick around, but if you do want to, I got, um, I got, I got lasers. I got lasers and the trusty jammer. Honestly, I've been surprised at, like, I expected more jammers, but I think that's because, like, the first game had so many jammer puzzles. But there's, DLC has lots of lasers. But yeah, thank you for the luck, though. Yes, don't spoil yourself if you want to play it. No spoilies. I'm not going to say anything, but yes, lurk from now on and I will... <laughs> I might start talking about things. But I appreciate you being here and lurking either way. But ah, uh, lasers make everything better. They do. I love lasers. I need to make a compilation of the amount of times I've said I love lasers while playing this game. Because it's, there's, it's been a lot. <laughs> oh, it's like, I think the problem here is the fact that this needs the jammer to keep it open. I don't think there's another way I can keep this door open. Unless, like, I jam it here, but then I can't take the jammer out, and that's, like... I need to try and get the jammer out somehow. I don't know how. Oh, how can I... How can I do this? Hmm. So I don't think there's a way to open that gate. I think it is just the jammer that's doing it. I guess I'll, I'll just keep it like this for now. But I, I'm gonna need the jammer for- Oh, I, no, I guess by doing this, I'd be able to set the jammer up to unjam something else. I would trap myself in the- Oh, but the prisoner wouldn't be- Oh. I think I know what I must do. I think I know what I must do. I'm, I'm trapping myself in a different jail. I'm trapping myself in a different jail. <laughs> there we go. Uh, do I have a favorite puzzle game? Uh, honestly, playing through these and like watching friends play Talos as well. I I used to say I don't have a favorite. I have like a top five, but I think like as time's gone on, I would be happy to say that the first Talos principle game specifically with the DLC, the Road to Gehenna DLC. That's my favorite puzzle game, I think. I've, I've decided. I've <laughs> I fully decided that it is my favorite. I, I love it. It's so good. There's just something so special about it. All right, how, how do I... Is there a way I can get the jammer out? I wonder if I could pass the jammer to myself. If I pick it up and come to the window, can I like pass it through the window? No, I can't. Okay, that, that makes sense. That would be a little broken if I could. I wish I could. But yeah, if I try and take it, I will step into the room before I take it, so... Nope. But, uh, oh, I can... Okay, no, I, I need one of me out here. Okay, I think what I might actually have to do is... If I use this to maybe jam here, then I can use this as a path to... 
like get the lasers going like to get the red laser through because i need it to be red over here and i need it to be red to open this door so i think what i do is i i use the I use this here, and I have it in line here, so that I'll be able to see it through the drill hole. And then I might be able to... No, I don't think I'll be able to reach. I can't quite see that, there's the, the fence in the way. That wouldn't work, unless I can do it... Oh, more of an angle. Yes! Yes, if I place it at this angle, yes, I can do this. I can do this, I just need to get the angle right. There, there, I got it! I got it! I got him! I got him, I did it! Yes! First gold puzzle down! That was a really interesting one. Yes! Yeah, Coot, you should feel so proud of yourself. I think the problem there was I started getting myself into like a rut where I thought I had to get the, the jammer out of here. And then after a while I was like, no, you know what? I don't need to get the jammer out of here. That can stay in there. I don't need that. <laughs> oh, that was a fun one though. Right, let's, let's see if I can get to this strip of trees and see if this is where the Sphinx is. I think it might be. It's like looking at it on the map. It looked like it could be. I hope it is. I, I can get over here. It is. It is. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. I found it. Right, so this one is... I, I immediately forgot. Okay. Yeah, is it the opposite way around? Did I do it the opposite way again? Hold on. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna go the other way around. There we go, yeah, I, I don't know why. Oh, monumental. Solve all monuments because you want to. I did want to. Why, like, why do I always instinctively just do it the wrong way first? <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it. So now it's just the other two gold puzzles and I'm done with this area, I think. Except for, like, maybe if there are some little flames hiding around, but I don't care about those. Oh, seeing me so excited about puzzle games makes you surprised. Why does it make you surprised? Do, do I not seem like the type? <laughs> I love puzzles. I am the... the, the I, I, I adore them so much. There's something that just feels so satisfying about solving a tricky puzzle. Like, I, I always feel so proud of myself. It's so fun. But I love them so, so much. But yes, I, I will definitely, like... So long as new puzzle games keep coming out, I'm going to keep playing them. I I have so much fun with puzzles. It's just like one of those things that just clicks for me. It's like I can definitely understand why some people might not enjoy puzzle games because it does require like a a, a different like skill set to a lot of games. But uh, it's just the kind of thing that I enjoy so, so much. <laughs> All right, last star. I got it. A herring is just a herring, but a halibut at the hour of scampering is a delight. Maybe I am overheating, <laughs> but I did it. Go me. You did it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. He may be overheating. I love that they were just getting weirder and weirder as, as the, the solving went on. 
But uh, nice, I did it. I've done all the monuments. I've done my first gold puzzle. Two more to go and then I can hop into the abyss. <laughs> yeah, oh, your reading of the pressed unpressed is also wrong every time. I don't know, it's like, I look at it and I always think that like, it's like when it was like the pillars coming up, it felt like a full one would be a big pillar. But I guess it was the other way around. Or was it the other way around? I never know. I think my problem is I never remember. So I always second guess myself and I maybe like go against what I think it would be and then it's wrong and then I do what I think it should be and it's still wrong. Like I will always just pick the wrong way around. Just, I'm just, just that smart and intelligent. <laughs> But uh, thankfully, it's an easy thing to solve, though. You just press them all. All right, so the gold puzzle is up there. Let's go. Blue gold puzzle. I'm ready. Maybe. Am I ready? Who knows? Let's see. It's down here. Here it is. All right, here we go. The electric courier. Oh, okay. What are we delivering? Electricery. Oh, okay. Right, so we've we've got a jammer keeping this open. Red there. Blue there. Blue to get out. Okay. So that needs to be red. That needs to be red. Drill wall here. There's the red laser. Okay. So that's all the way around here. But there is a gate and a drill wall. So, hmm. I guess I start by doing that. All right, you're not activated, but you do have a drill and I'm going to borrow that. It's gonna be the jammer. It's gonna be the jammer to get those open. But the jammer's keeping this open at the moment. Oh, I can do this. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Right, what, what's in here? Is there anything? Oh, there's a connector up there. I need to bring it over so I can reach it. Okay. Okay, I see. Right. Okay, I'm trapped over here at the moment, but what I am thinking at the moment is... I've made this drill hole. If I can jam this, but also have the... the jammer here, and then put the drill hole so that I can bring the jammer through, then we can at least have the jammer on this side and at least like get it out of here <laughs> I think my, my main idea at the moment is just get get this out of here so I can do that we got this open I can connect to the red and activate both of these and at least get it out of this room Hello, come on. Off on a little journey. Little journey. Boop. Yeah, so we can we can get it up to the door like this. I didn't think any further than this. But I think it should be okay. Right, because now I need to open this, so to do that I'm going to need the jammer, which means I won't be able to activate. Oh, I might still be able to reach though. Now that it's out, I think I can do the laser this way. And send it through like this. Alright, through you go! Beep boop! Off it goes on a little adventure. It's over this side now. Oh, this one was good. Ah, oh, I'm I'm excited for it. I'm already loving it. <laughs> right, so 
I need that open. So now the problem is... Oh, I think if I bring the... The connector... I might be able to get an angle through here. Like, I'll use the... No, I can't see it through here. Like, from here, if I then jam that again... No, because it's going to close this. If I jam this... Hmm... Hmm. Right, because the problem now is I need it to stay connected to the red to keep going. And I also need the red to open this. Unless I jam it. But I think I'm gonna need the jammer to reach the red laser. So I think what I do now is I... Oh, I can't jam it from this side, I don't think. Hmm. So I was, I was gonna see if I could do my trick again and like jam it and drop it through the hole, but it's like, it goes back this time. So I can't do that. But I, there was another drill wall, where was that? I was like in here. Oh, so if I drilled that wall and then jammed the second one. I'd be able to reach the laser through there. I don't know why there's a the, the blue laser here too. Oh no, the blue is for the, the end, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Never mind, but I'm gonna need that other connector for that. So now the problem is, because the jammer's on that side, I think I need the jammer on this side. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I may have made a mistake here. Maybe. like an idea on how to do it but I think I made a mistake by bringing the jammer out I think that there would have been a way for me to do it without bringing it out no I don't know how I would have done that though because of this gate being here I wouldn't be able to jam the ones I want to oh unless like maybe depending on the angle let me let me play around with angles run and get the drill again I did it like a really... interesting angle, maybe. No, I think like even with this angle, this... No, I wouldn't have been able to see that door. I would not be able to jam that door through there. Okay, hmm. Hmm, time to think again. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start by... Yeah, this isn't gonna work because of this being shut. Which is the problem. Hmm. Yes, like I can still reach the red through here, but it's soon gonna go out of sight, and I don't want that. Oh, unless I boop it back. I might be able to boop it back if I put this in the way. If I put it here, then it's gonna start going back instead of continuing along the path. So I can bring it back into this room, maybe. That's my current plan. And then I'm like, maybe I can stick the jammer on it and... I don't know if it's gonna work. 
But my current plan is maybe I can put the jammer onto this while still jamming the door. I can't make it boot back with myself. Oh, there's a tree in the way! Ah, that's why it stopped. Okay. Right, well, my plan now is basically the same thing, but this time I'm going to carry the jammer through with me <laughs> and hope it works. I really hope it'll work. We will soon see you to get the, the jammer back in this room. <laughs> to do that, I need to make it go back on the path I want it to, though. Gotta be like here. Here for a little bit. That tree is really annoying. <laughs> okay. It's going through with the jammer. I'm gonna stop it there before it goes out of sight. We got the jammer through. I got the jammer through to this side. And it, it, it kept it going. Okay. So now, I think... Hmm. See, now I'm like... I need to jam this. To get the red laser through here, I'm gonna need the jammer there, but if I do that, it's gonna unjam this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, the jammer's keeping that jammed. No, yeah, that, hold on. I was like, no, the door will stay open because the jammer's jamming it. I'm like, no, that's, that's, that was my problem. I need to pick up that jam. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm. I'm just gonna keep a hole there. That it feels nice having the the hole there. <laughs> it's just the problem of finding the way I can get that red laser at the right angle to keep going. Cause it's gonna get blocked as soon as it gets to like this point gonna stop like here it's gonna get blocked by the tree if nothing else and it won't make it all the way through to here i need it in here <sighs> so tricky unless what would happen if i do that no, that's that's nowhere near high enough. That wouldn't work. Hmm. I wish I had a cube. A cube would be really nice for this one. It's just powering this up that's the problem. It's it's powering up this it's getting the laser through to the side so this will move that is the only the only issue wait oh hold on no yeah i already i already realized i can't do that okay oh let me jam again yeah if i want to get this it's going to be from this kind of angle i can't do it through the drill hole i can't see there. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to drill the hole higher up so I can actually see through it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, there's no way I can reach those. Like, I'd be able to get a laser through if I had two connectors. It's just figuring out how to get in here and get this connector. That's the... That's the problem. I can only move it so far and then it's going to... 
the path's gonna get broken. Let's let's just take it as far as I can get it. Let's just send it as far along as I can. Be like, oh, it's going the wrong way. Hold on. No, I don't want you to come back. Stop that. Not that way. Go the other way. This is gonna get blocked so many times now because I put the, the jammer in the way too. Okay, it's going the right way now. It's broken for a second. It's broken by the tree. Reconnect. Get it to there. Reconnect. And get it to there, and then that's when the tree gets in the way. Oh, and that's when. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. And that's when ideally I need that jammed. I see. Hmm. Or this. I need both. I need both of those ja unjammed. That's... I only have one jammer. I can't do that. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Right. Yeah, this is... It's not close enough here. Hmm. I wish I could connect the connector that's already up there. If I could connect that and make it red. The one that's already up there. And use that. It's like, that might be the way to do it, honestly, but I... So I'm like, if I could... put it no no it's it's not in line the way it should be hmm. I don't think I missed anything else around yeah it's just the the drill the jammer the <laughs> the electrical courier and I've got the one connector and I need two. So how do I power this up? That is, that's what I need to figure out. How would I power this up? I don't think there are any more angles. I could connect it out from here. I don't know how much further I could get it from here. Wait, there's a switch in there. Hold on. I missed this switch. What does the switch do? This is going to... Oh, I'm, I've probably made things so much harder for myself than I needed to. I think I've made things way harder than I needed to on myself. I cannot believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? How did I miss this switch? That's gonna... Can I, can I, like, reach my arm around? No! <laughs> oh, and now I've put the jammer in that side. I would need to bring it back again. I think I might be able to if I put this, like, right here and make it boot back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I need to bring it back. <laughs> oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? I'm... Oh my goodness. Where did I put my connect? <laughs> okay, it's right here. Okay. Oh my days. I can't believe this. Hopefully I can make it move from here. I feel like I went as far as I could. Okay, it connected for like a millisecond. There. 
please just boot back. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I can bring it back. I can bring it back. <laughs> oh, my days. See, that's why I didn't want to send it as far as I could. Because at least if I give myself a little bit of slack, I can stick something in the way and bring it back. <laughs> my whole strategy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what does this do? Does that just keep this open now? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's what I needed. Ha! Huh. Incredible. Incredible. I cannot believe this. Okay, now it seems like I can probably do this. <laughs> Alright, boot back. Get back in there. Thank you. And so now... <laughs> oh my days. Now I got this. Oh, hold on. No, still... Mm. Still not quite. Like... Oh, what I need? I need this window. <gasps> okay. Would it be? I can't see it from here. What angle could I see it at? This angle. This way, this way, this way. Be like further back there. But I would be able to see it. I don't think I can go far back enough. Oh, I can move the drill hole. I can move the drill hole. Let's see, where's the line going? The line's going here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now. I can just unjam here. And it'll go. Oh, I forgot to actually make the thing go. <laughs> Oopsie. But I can. But I can make it go, and that's the important part. I just need to make sure I stop it once it gets to the right spot. I think that should be good. I think this should be good. Did I do it? Did I get it? Oh. oh. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I got the connectors! Oh my goodness. This one was so cool. This was so cool. I am so impressed at my ability to like unkerfuffle that. I really made a mess of that one. I cannot believe I brought it back so well. I'm proud of myself. And then I'm thinking, like, I just do this? And then I can just, like, set up the blue laser. So it can see it. Where would it be able to see it? Hmm. Yeah, from there. I think it would be able to see if I then... Pick this up and go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There it is! Oh, not quite, maybe. No, I'd need that further over. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, not quite. quite see it from there. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, spoilers! Hi, Zarok! Thank you for the hydrating poster check! And Lucas Avery as well, hello! 
at this one indeed. This one is so cool. I love this. But thank you. Let me have a sip of my Ultra Fiesta. I figured the mango flavor was appropriate for this. <laughs> I'll have that. I think I might need to open this one up. And position it like this way, maybe. Hmm, I'm not sure. But uh, thank you, thank you for the hydrate posture check. Let me have a big stretch as well. But uh, Ultra Fiesta, yeah, that's the, the flavor of Monster I'm drinking today. Uh, it's, it's mango flavored. It's called Ultra Fiesta. It's just mango. It's... <laughs> right. So close to... I'm, I'm so, so close. It's just figuring out how to get the blue laser through now. But I have two connectors. Which is a really good start. So... Where can the connector see? Oh! Actually... I think... I didn't actually want to connect it to that one, whatever. I think, actually, I need to place it up to get the blue. I need to put the blue up high. So I'm glad I didn't move this back out of here again. I think what I do is I... Oh, I can't jump up here. Did I not send it far enough? I don't think I sent it far enough to, like, jump up. If it Maybe it just won't let me jump up. I was like, if I could put this on here... I'm gonna try and make it go a tiny bit further if I can. Yeah, there we go. Can I jump up here? No, I can't jump up or place this up here. I... I was thinking I can connect the blue to here, put it up high, and then reach it that way, but it won't let me... won't let me go this high. But it's... it's not even that high. Wait... Oh... Okay. Because there's so many things in the way. How do I reach the blue? I don't know how to reach the blue here. Like, the angles of this make things so awkward. Like, I can, I can reach the red? I can connect it to the red laser. <laughs> but that's not what I want. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So excited I didn't actually jam the door. Okay, okay. I can reach the red. So I do that. <laughs> it's now a blue laser. Oh, you like mango, you don't think you'd like monster. Well, it's it's an acquired taste. It Some people like it, some people don't. It's completely fair either way. Okay, it's it's not quite in line. So I'm gonna go out and try and connect it directly. <laughs> but I think I have this now. It's from here. Now all I need to do is There it is. Where can I place this where it will work? I think oh I think the drill might be in the way actually. No, that works, that works. Yes. And now I just jam the window. Oh yes. I did it! Woo! That was really cool. That was so cool. Oh, I love these, I love these puzzles so much. I love places. I just solved the second gold puzzle. And yes. so the student becomes the master. And so the student becomes the master. I'm so proud. So proud of you, Yakut. Right. That means I have one more gold puzzle left. And then I'm pretty sure I am I'm done with all of the main things for for this DLC pack. So then I can move on to do this. 
I'm very excited. I'm like the longest way possible. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's a yeah, there's a there's a map here. Okay. So if I just teleport right here. Yeah, it's like just right at the end now. There we go. Oh, I'm doing it in the order you did the gold too. Nice. It just, I don't know why it was, but for me, it just, I, I felt like going green, blue, red made sense to me. And I, I don't even know why that is. It just instinctively seemed like the right order in my head. Right, will I die if I jump off here? I think I probably would. I will not. <laughs> Let me walk around. Maybe the other one would have been faster to teleport to. I forgot how high up this is. Oopsie. Oh, nope. No, not that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. There's no fall damage in this game, only death planes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I love, I love this. I'm, I'm excited. Do the gold. The third and final gold puzzle of this area. The final obstruction. Okay, this feels like a really fitting one to do last then. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my goodness, there's three. There's three of us. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I'm gonna connect that to red. This also needs to be connected to red. So I maybe go this way first. Okay, this is blue. Oh, but there's a pressure plate. So if I connect that to blue and then put that on the plate, I can go through here. Ah. jammer there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Right. I need myself to be in view. But there we go. We got a red. We have red. 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 opened first gate opened but we need a second one so actually i go red i go over here and i continue red oh this will then be blue Oh, then that'll close that gate. No, the gate stays open because of the pressure plate. Okay, we got blue. Blue. The blue's on the other side. The blue is around here. Okay, yeah, I can't step off there. Oh, but blue, blue, okay. So now I do this. I have blue and that'll keep that open. Which one will it keep open? This one? No. It's broken by me. Never mind. I'm silly. <laughs> I stood in the laser light. Okay, and now we have this open, and that means I have a jammer. So I can now put the jammer on here and here. Keep both of these open. And now I have the red, which will stay red. I keep putting things in the path of other things. I'm incredibly smart and intelligent. Right, so then it's... Oh, I need the jammer for this. I need the jammer for this. Oh, 
Yeah, I need the jammer for that. Okay. I need to jam that second door. So I can't use it for this. Which will still break the laser. So I'm still gonna have to stand over here. But I need to jam the sec- I can't jam the second one until I've opened the first one. But what I need is I'm going to have to stand on here. But I think doing this, this is my position now for the side. I think everything is set up on this side the way it needs to be. Except the jammer, which I can reposition. And now I- oh. I, oh my goodness, I jumped so much. I stepped out of the door. I I just jumped a mile. I That is like the most terrifying jump scare I have ever given myself. Even including that one in the mega structure. That is, I, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, that breaks in there though, so I can't do it like that. So then I go back in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah. Okay, so now that's connected. That's connected. I can... Head back in here. Oh, no. Oh, wait, can I just jam this through here? No, I can't jam it through the, the gate. But this isn't working because I have to take it off the the pressure plate to do it. And I can't like just jam the second one. Oh, can I? No, no. I don't think it'll let me jam the second one when the first one's still in the way. I want the second one. I don't want to jam this one. Ah, I'm so close yet so far. I'm so almost there. Huh. And I can't, I can't pick it up through the bars, no. Okay, I, d I didn't jump that time at least, because I wasn't holding anything. <laughs> ah. Also, Lynn, hello! Welcome, welcome! Hello there, welcome. I'm doing the, the last gold puzzle of uh, DLC 2, The Isle of the Blessed. And I'm having a lot of fun. I love this game. But this one, I feel like I keep getting really, really close. And then just like slightly messing it up. So tricky. Uh, how are the previous two puzzles? I'm actually genuinely really proud of how how quickly I managed them <laughs> like in the, the grand scheme of things they took a lot of thought they took a lot of figuring out but I, I think I did a good job with it at least I think so I'm proud of myself <laughs> oh. yeah the... Cause I'm what... like what does what did this one even do? What did the red do here? Does that red keep the... Okay, it keeps the first gate open so I can keep this other connector. Okay, I might be able to... do something with this. I don't feel like I need this connector. I wish I could pass it over to myself on the other side. I don't need these. I don't need two in here. I need two in this side. So I can get the jammer out. Because it's like I'm... Oh no, that, that's what I use the blue for. That's what I use the blue for. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. Oh. Uh, 
I'm gonna need the red, but I also need the blue. To go through to keep those open, hold on. I'm gonna do this again. Screw the red, we're going blue. Get rid of that for now. That, go back in here. Back here, I've got the blue. The blue, like, right here. Like that. That keeps both of those open. So then I just need to figure out a way to get the red, but I think... If I go in here, I should be able to angle this one to maybe see the red? Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe I use this. Oh! I do this. I use this right here. And then this one is for the red. Yes, okay. And then I jam. Okay! Jam the second one. Jam the second one! There! There! Finally! Oh my goodness! It wouldn't jam the right one! I got it! I got it! I did it! Huh. Gold puzzles complete! Solved every puzzle in Isle of the Bless. Oh, yeah. congratulations! Once upon a time, these golden gates hid a secret hope too yes. painful to accept. Now they exist only to bring joy. Yes. <laughs> I hope they have brought some joy to you too. Oh, Yakut. so much joy. So much joy. Thank you, Yakut. Thank you, Yakut. We did a good job today. Right. Oh, social media post uh, just says what to do in lowercase. Oh, thank you for the confetti too and the headpats. I, li I like the congratulatory headpats. <laughs> okay, so let's say I want to try doing something. What do I do? Uh, what do you feel like doing? I don't know. Oh, this is such a mood, honestly. <laughs> you can still join us if you want. Eh, not sure. Melville gave me a big list of tasks that'll take me all over. Why don't you join me so you can check out a bit of everything? Okay. DM'd you the details. See you soon. Oh, poor, poor person. I love that this person was just like, I'm depressed, I don't want to do anything. And now they're stuck with Pellegrino. <laughs> this could go either way. This could either end up being like, I suddenly realize how good I have it. I will never complain again. Or it could go horrifically. But... Yeah, trying out a bit of everything. Sounds good. Oh, that... I am so happy, though. I'm so happy. I I love this family. I love this. I love this game. But with that, I'm pretty sure I am I'm done. I'm pretty sure I've completed it. So one thing I wanted to do before I dive into the abyss is I wanna go and check to see if Cornelius and Athena have anything else to say. Cause I think it's been a little while since I spoke to them. Well, I couldn't remember, so I, I just want to go back there. But I am very excited. I've had my warm-up with the gold puzzles here. I'm ready to head into the abyss. I'm... I love puzzles. I love puzzles. Also really excited for more Byron stuff as well, because I, I love him. I think he's great. He's very... I feel like he can get a bit too headstrong sometimes. Like when he gets his mind set on something, he is like so dead set on it. And I think that's why I really love the dynamic that he has with Al. Like Al is the one pulling him back down to earth, but also Byron is the one pulling Al up off the ground. Like they, they balance each other well. <laughs> I don't actually remember where they were. On the beach. This part of the beach? This part of the beach. Yeah, okay, Marant 
Okay, they don't have anything else to say. I checked. Okay, one last crab. Goodbye, crab. Goodbye, crab. Thank you. Thank you for the good times. Thank you. It was an honor. I want to make sure it saves. There we go. And then... Out I go. Oh, can you point out a thing left? Oh, if there's something I missed, yeah, feel free to... Feel free to mention. Ba ba ba. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, like I didn't, I didn't try like interacting with the. Yeah, depart when ready. I missed that. I missed that. I missed the quest. Thank you. <laughs> it just popped up as soon as I reloaded it. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I would have forgot. I I was so excited doing the puzzles. I wasn't paying attention. But I think that was a really nice holiday. I think we had a lovely vacation. What's up here? Hello. I, I wanted to just explore this because I, I knew the other one had rubber ducks. But I don't think that one has anything. Right, oops, I didn't mean to do that, but we're fine. Okay. Let's head back, I think. We've had a great vacation, but all good things must come to an end. Ready for the next one? <laughs> so, did everyone have a good time? Yes. It was pretty awesome. I actually enjoyed solving puzzles. I'm so they weren't proud as hard of as I thought they would be. The puzzles in the simulation were a lot harder. Oh, let well, him have I'm this glad moment. the fate of humanity <laughs> wasn't resting on my shoulders. I probably would have just been like, Elohim wants me to go through the magic door? Fine. Towers are overrated anyway. No offense, I know you made like 12 of them. None taken. I mean, they were very impressive. A little creepy. I thought one of them might fall on us. The one on the coast was really cool. Why am I still talking? Do you think <laughs> Bruce and Bean will get along? Bruce loves other cats. Yes. I think he's the only cat that loves every cat he meets. Melville thinks there's something wrong with him. You'll <laughs> figure it out. Living together is a process. Oh, I love this. I think that's why our ancestors kept doing it even when it wasn't, strictly speaking, necessary anymore. So wise. That was the entire point of the exhibition, wasn't it? Yeah. Freedom from necessity. Doing Aww. things because they bring us joy, not because we have to. So it's true. It's not suffering and misery that make us human. We were human despite these things, not because of them. And now we have a chance to be more human. That's how I feel when I'm with you. And that's why we created you. Not to serve a purpose, but just... To be. Oh, I love this game. Also, Bruce and Bean. What good cats. What good cat names. I approve. No, I... <laughs> I love the thought of Yakut being like so hopped up on adrenaline like he is so pumped to have done all these puzzles he's just talking he's just going like million miles per hour just <laughs> every single thought in his head and then he's just like why why am i still talking why am i saying this i've done that so many times <laughs> i'm very good at starting talking about something and then thinking about something else in the middle of it and then talking for like five minutes about several unrelated topics. <laughs> oh, that was so good, though. Oh, I'm so excited. Two down, one to go. I'm very excited. I'm extremely excited for the hard puzzles. To be. <laughs> to be the, the near character. That That is the reason to exist. To be. Oh, that was, that was so good. And the music. <sighs> good times. I'm gonna have some more monster. But yeah, I've gotta say, a little part of me was a little bit worried 
that I might get stuck on the gold puzzles and take forever to actually start into the abyss. But I think I've made really reasonable time on it, especially considering I was doing the, the Sphinx monuments as well. I'm quite proud of myself. I think I did okay. <laughs> letting the credits play because it's so nice yeah dlc 2 gold puzzles were easier than lost for you oh uh, yeah i i don't know i i think because i i didn't do them like in the same stream like there was like a week between them it's kind of hard to imagine and judge it in my head but uh, I feel like I they were they were very smooth. They were very smooth to figure out, but in a really satisfying way. <laughs> but yeah, the the DLC one gold ones were really hard until you figured out how to solve them, and then as soon as you figure out how to solve them, you have the solutions to all of them. <laughs> but uh, I still love how I managed to like botch the one like get like the cheaty solution for one but i i know how i would solve that it's just doing the exact same connect to other receiver block it off halfway through <laughs> as the other ones but yeah that felt really satisfying though it was good yeah clockwork was so good like i felt so proud with clockwork because like that was one i was like thinking about it in bed after the stream like that was one i was i was just sat like imagining it like trying to figure it out and i ended up drawing like a very silly little diagram <laughs> to figure it out so that i'd remember it i was just like i'm not gonna remember this but i've had a brainwave like blocking each one by the next one so i drew it out <laughs> really badly on my phone <laughs> and it worked and i felt like a genius it was very good oh look Oh, family photo. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. And thank you for the hydrate and posture check. Let me have a big stretch. And I shall have a sip to prepare for what is in store. I'm so ready for this. I am so excited for this. Into the abyss. Return to one of the most dramatic moments from the Talos Principle 2 while being challenged with extremely difficult puzzles. That's what I want. That's what I'm here for. Gimme. <laughs> Gimme. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. John Milton. Classic Milton. <laughs> You've been making a lot of progress. New citizens, new cities, mm -hmm. even space travel. You really don't do things by halves, do you, Byron? You're right. But I'm very aware that we have to be careful. Things are moving so fast. And the truth is that Noima is just a tool. It doesn't magically solve all our problems. We have to learn to apply it correctly. What? You're not just sticking your hand in it and seeing if it goes bzzzt? Hey, I haven't done that in months. It's almost like you've learned something. Oh, I I'm have. so proud. I mean, I know you're joking, but... That's why I need you. None of this is easy. In fact, it might be the hardest thing anyone's ever done. We're changing everything about how we interact with this world. There's a lot of baggage we have to get rid of. And truth be told, some of it's my own. I appreciate that, Byron. But there's something I'd like to know. I'm an open book. We never really had a chance to talk after <laughs> you came back from the megastructure. Yeah. But now that I look back, I feel that somehow the experience changed you. So what happened to you inside the machine? What really happened? Well, you know the beginning of it. We've made it into the megastructure for the second time. You were waiting back at the VTOL. I was desperate to find Athena. I got to the terminal before 1K, started going through the files. 
And just when I thought I'd found something... I can't, I can't, I can't... I, 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 I can't... Oh, my goodness, oh my goodness, what a start. Whoa, what a start. What the... Whoa. Where am I? Byron. Byron, can you hear me? Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> Have I been damaged? Am I in sleep mode? You are. But this is not your dream, Byron. It is Athena's. Your mind is trapped in the gyre of her thoughts, circling eternally between an impossible hope and an unbearable grief. My friends need me. I have to get out of here. Your friends are your only hope. You cannot free yourself. But if you can overcome these trials, perhaps I can help your friends find you. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, what a start. Oh, yes. Oh, you named your dog Milton. I love that. It's a good name, honestly. Milton is like... I feel like it's like a classic name that you don't hear very often. It's a good name. I never thought you'd find Uriange. <laughs> oh, I still remember the first time Xander told me that Uriange and... Uh, Elohim have the same voice actor. <laughs> I was like, no way. And then I listened to them and I was like, how did I, how did I not recognize this sooner? It's so good. But uh, also as well, the same voice as uh, Jehan in Divinity Original Sin that me and Xander are playing at the moment. Although he does sound very different there. Uriange and Elohim have that kind of like, that kind of tone to their voices where they're, like it's very similar. You can hear it sometimes. Right, I'm, oh, I'm, oh boy. Oh, I, why, why was that so loud? Oh my goodness, I jumped a mile. Oh my, whoa. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. I am so excited for this. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. Okay, so there's 24 puzzles. And then golden puzzle in the middle. Okay. Okay. Oh, my. Whoa. This is so cool. Okay, I nearly just jumped straight off the cliff. I nearly just like went in a straight line towards the door. There is a cliff there. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I'm starting at one. Unexpected outcomes. Oh, my favorite. Oh, it's gonna come up with the tooltips because of starting a quote unquote new game. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with that. That opens the doors. Oh, connector. in the wall, okay. Not quite. Hmm, I should look through here first. Maybe. Okay. 
Okay, I need a red and a blue to open this. Okay. <laughs> this music uses a motif from Talos 1. I, I, I thought it did. I thought it did. I, I felt like I recognized it. I, oh, I love this. Oh, I think what I actually have to do is I have to do it over here. Because then the blue can just go through the door. I think I, I put this like here. Because then I can go blue into red and red. And red. Okay, that's going to break eventually because of where the blue is. But I can just do it for now at least. And then I just need the blue. But to get the blue, it will cross that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hold on. Actually, hmm. Unexpected outcomes. I was instantly just like, well, it makes sense to connect this to red to open this. But uh, what if? I figure out a way to get this stuff through here, do it from this side, and connect this the other way around to turn, no, it, it's, it's always gonna turn blue to red. There's not a red one here. Hmm. I thought I was cooking in my mind. I realized I have no food in the plate. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> The music is always so incredible in this game. I'm, oh. There's something so special about it. Right, clearly the problem here is like, as soon as I pick this up, it, I can't get through this door. And that's what I, I need to do. do that the red is gonna break oh it only breaks up to there i wonder if there's a way i'd be able to do it hmm i have an idea it may be silly it might be really silly and just not work is if I connect it to the blue and also connect it to there and use both of them as the blue laser source then I remove the drill so it's only using the laser at the end as the blue source then maybe right, that opens that and then it breaks it I can't get the blue out by like that Hold on, I'm just gonna move stuff. Stop being so noisy, I can't think. Right, what I'm thinking is because the, the red's always gonna block the blue. So I think what I need to do is I need to set it up in a way. Where I don't have to worry about blocking it. Like if I can connect it a different way around and then break the laser that is blocking in the first place. that but I'm also going to connect it to that. from that one at the moment. That is not connecting. Then I'm like... If I do that, it Because, yeah, this is just blocking it immediately from here. Hmm. It 
It's the problem of how to keep this open. Do I need to keep this open? I don't actually... Yeah, I d if, if I can redirect the blue around. Like, maybe I use the connector in here. I'll redirect the blue out. Through the drill hole. Maybe that's what I have to do. So, like, not even needing this door open. I just do that. I just do that, and then that is the source of the blue now, and I, I literally just go, like, red, red. Okay, it'll still block stuff. It's like, because if I do that, then I'd be able to connect that as well. And it's got the blue. Yeah, then it's just connecting the red that's the problem. Because the red's on the wrong side. And it will get blocked by that blue. Hmm. Unless... Hmm. I shut myself in here by doing this. I just wanted to like test something. It's like if I could find a way to block that red then. Like to just sneak through and then block the red. Like just not even needing the red. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love the womp womp, but it's like, I did this actively knowing that it would shut me in here and that I'd have to reset. I just wanted to like try and see things from a slightly different angle. Ah, oh, so interesting to try and figure out. The fact that they're this way around. It's what I need to work with. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Yeah, let me, let me replenish brain cells. But uh, it's it's labeled unexpected outcomes. So I think this is gonna be a situation of like doing something that shouldn't work. <laughs> okay, actually I've got a little idea. Got a little idea I'm gonna try. That'll be through the door. Yeah, I'm gonna start by just opening it so I can get the connector out. I've got my idea now. I have an idea set in place. My idea is I'm setting this up like this. Also set it up like that. So it goes like that, but now it's self-sufficient. I placed it in the wrong place for that. So that part did not quite work. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Let's try again. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't quite reach like that. Will it reach like that? Okay, that will work. Okay, it's staying, yeah, that stays open. That's staying open like that now, and so now I don't need this drill hole. Can I bring the blue laser around this way? I think I might be able to. I think I think I can bring the blue around this way. Maybe. No. Why is? Oh, it's blocked. It's blocked like that. Ah. Oh, if that wasn't. If that wasn't connected, if this door wasn't open. Go oh, so close. Cause that'll close that as well. Never mind. So close. I thought I was onto something here, and then just, why does it have to be placed there? Why is it like that? 
Why is it like this? It's like doing that feels like it makes sense, but then it's like. Oh, hold on. I've got ideas. I've got ideas. shut myself through again I shouldn't have done that but it's okay but then it's like if I could just figure out a way I can block this one as well I think it's gonna be about getting the 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 lasers in the right order like to alternate the blocking like the other ones I have ideas I just don't know how to execute them this is really interesting this is a super super interesting one like it's really easy to figure out how to start it. Like, start it doing this. I feel like I'm on the right track with this. Like, start it doing this. Move this to the middle to make it, like, self-sustaining. Wait, I have a great... Oh my god, I have an idea. I think I got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've... I think I've, I've just figured it out. I think. I hope. I think I hope I've got it. That's in the wall, that won't go from that angle. I think I've got it. I think what I'm doing here is, okay, we can start with this. We'll kickstart it, make it self-sustaining. Door is open, that's looking after itself now. That's fine, you're looking after yourself. And now, I need to get this through to the other side. I need to get this blue over to the other side. That's what I really, really need to do right now. Yeah, then. That, that. Right, so now I'll keep, like, keep it self sustaining. Up. I'll connect it to there temporarily. Is that connected? Yes. Okay, I'll take this away. Bringing this through this side. And what I'm doing now is... I'm going to connect this to this. And do that. To keep the door open from this side. No, I need the blue. I need the blue. Yes, I set this up. Oh, I can't see it from this angle. I wonder if there's an angle I'd be able to see the blue at that's not in there. No, I don't think I can. Okay. Yeah, no, the angles aren't quite working the way I was hoping they would. If I pick this up, it's going to close and get stuck again. Ah, oh, it's like I, I thought I had a really, really good idea. Like, my idea is, like, I do the same thing here. I keep this connected to the blue to kickstart this when I pick it up so it stays self-sustaining. But I do it all from this side, and then when I have the connector on this side, I won't have to worry about, like crossing over. I'll use the red to connect the door from this side. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh wait, no, I think I can still do this. Okay, no, not like- Oh no, I broke it! I broke it! I broke it! I was almost there, I broke it. I kept it connected to something I did not want to. <laughs> the problem when I instinctively right-click to, to pick them up. Okay, 
First part, I've got this down. I do this. Connect blue. Connect blue to here. Connect red to here and here. And here, because why not? And here. Connect blue to here to kickstart it. Now it doesn't need this blue. Okay. Like, up to this point, I am sure that this is right. This feels right to me. It's just from here now, my plan is, I think, if I can get this through to this side and then get back here and disconnect this from the door, but set everything else up in the same way, then I think that would work. But the problem is, when I pick it up, it's going to close the doors and I can't open it again without the kickstart of the blue laser. And I can't get a, the right angle for the blue. Oh, unless I do it here. Mm. No, but the idea is I want the I want the single connector around the back because then I'm like if I can keep this set up here then that keeps the door open but then as soon as I pick this up again it's gonna it's gonna close that door oh but then I guess I could oh But then I might be able to set something up from the other side. Connecting this through. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I think I know what I'm doing. If I break it all now, then uh, tee hee, I meant to do that. Because now if I just do that and that and that. Like that. Okay. This door's open. Yes! Connectors over this side. Don't need that open anymore. Oh, I can't reach the blue though. I do need that open. Okay. Almost. I'm almost there. I know how to do it though. I'm almost there. I know how to do it. Okay. <laughs> I've got it. I've got this. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I, I do this. Oh no, I think I need to do this from the other side because I'm going to block the blue. Otherwise, am I? Mm. Hmm. Yeah, see, the problem now is ideally I would do this through the center so I don't need the drill, but I don't think I can do that. Very close. I'm so very close. I just need a blue. A way to get blue over there. That's all I need. That's all I need. But it's gonna break that line of sight. It's gonna break that line if I do it. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Right, I'm going to reconnect this to here as well so I can take the connector back. All right, I'm I feel like I'm like I'm like one thing away from this surely. I I feel like I've got to be so close. Right, cuz I'm thinking if I can get the red all like along this side without having to worry about this. Like, I'll need to keep this one, though. That's the problem. Ugh. So I think I have to connect the red from the other side. Hmm. Oh, this music is so good. Everything. 
ha ha. Okay, that connects to the red. So then it's just getting the blue, but it's it's, it's here. It's here. I can't connect it from from here. I can't get the right angle from here because of where the the walls are. Hmm. Unless. Unless I do this again. And I go connect, connect, connect. Like that. Oh no, also that. That would like shut me out of here, but I can get back in if I need. So long as I don't accidentally break what I need, which is still very possible. Oh, it's all, it's all, it's all the angles. The angles are so wrong. Oh, there's a way I could. Uh... I'm gonna reconnect it. I think. I think I might know. bringing this background here. It worked! It worked! I just need to be fast! It worked! It worked! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. Take that. I could have done that so much neater. If, if I figure out the right How many more? order to connect them, Seven to do the alternating like the clockwork and stuff. When they are complete, <laughs> there will be a moment of transition. In that moment, I will tip the scale. Ooh. Your shell will be moved. Yes. And its location revealed to your friends. Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with your voice, Elohim? Are the entities oh. interfering with your protocols? I cannot. Not. Articulate. She cannot. Face it. Oh. Oh. I have an idea. Uh. Could you tell me what happened in the old way? Oh? Using your storyteller functions. Oh! I will try, Byron. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ah! Yes! <laughs> what lol? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, like, there is a way that I would have been able to connect up the lasers and connectors in a way that would do that much neater and have the, the lasers alternating. But I. I'll take it. I can run fast. I'm, I will accept that. Oh, that was fun though. Oh, this is already off to an incredible start. I'm very excited. Also interesting as well, there are seven trials. So that's like here, here, and here. These these three little islands. And then there are bridges. I see there are bridges. Very interesting. Oh, your solution involved taking the driller behind the door and switching the doors. Oh, that makes sense as well. That's a 
That is a, a sensible solution. <laughs> Boom. The other. Okay. Oh, I do love me some lasers. I do love lasers. Right, what are we working with? Door. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, there's four. Okay. So I can do that. Oh, connected down there. Ah, okay, so I just start like this. Let's go get the connector. This one seems more straightforward. I think I can do this one. Oh, no, I have to do it from the side. Oh, okay. I bring this up. I bring this up, I use the higher up one to do these two. Quite though. Because this is still lower down. Oh no, I'll just do. I'll do that and that. Hold on, let me see what I can see from here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see the connectors from here. Okay. It's clearly going to be a thing about raising them up. To avoid the, the crossing over the lines. It's just a question of what order to do everything in. Hmm. How did I do this before? I... I think... Oh, actually, I think... Maybe just like this. Oh, no, I need to actually get through first. Not, not quite like, just like this. that to all of them why not and now I'll just use this just to open that one okay now I need the first two so I'll also send that up there. okay so we've got the red and the blue and so then I can go which one does it need next no, I need the blue first. Blue. Oh, I need to set it up so it'll do the red as well. Eventually. This is going to be like an alternating back and forth this situation. Okay. Okay, let me let me look through this a bit a bit more. I'm gonna have some monster too. Right, these are the ones that I, I I do kind of struggle to wrap my head around the way the lasers work and the way they're meant to work. Yeah, because this one's just called the other, so it's. I think. Oh, maybe. Hmm. of 
bees. To get through that way, and then I make this one blue to go here. And then once I'm actually up here, I take that. And then I just, I need to make the last one, no. No, hold on. This does not work. I don't know what I was thinking, actually. Like, I'm, I'm now thinking in my head, why, what, what was I actually thinking would happen if I did that? <laughs> Right, let me let me work through it. Red and blue. Connector in the middle. Red and blue. Oh wait, no, I think. If I connect Red and red? So this. And then blue and blue to this. Now I just need to figure out. Connect that to there as well. Connect that to there as well. No, not quite. Okay. No, I need to connect it to the furthest ones, I think. I think I do that, that, and that. And then this one, I will do that, that, and that. No, not quite. I made a cool V formation, though. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... This laser's too powerful. So what I need to do is I need to just get through here first. Just easy way. Just get over, easy mode, that way. This needs to be connect connected directly to this. This is the laser. This is the superior laser. This is the one I will connect everything to. The laser. And now, I go boom, boom, boom. Oh no, because it's going to be one off from here as well if I do this. Oh, hold on, actually. Hmm. I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I did. Kira Baros, hello! Thank you for the hydrate! I think I need it at the moment. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate! Welcome to puzzle time! Oh, I just need to... I need to, like, slow down. And actually work it through in my head. That's the problem at the moment. I'm going, like, full throttle, and I need to like, think of how things will react to each other. It's like the fact that they're the the change color connectors. Like I feel like I can use that. Just gonna start simple. Go like that, we go like that. They're going to block each other in the middle if we do this. So how do we stop them doing that? We connect to the one on the end as well. Connect to the one on the end as well. And then this can connect to here. And this can connect to here? No, that's because then that's going to be more powerful. They're just blocking doing this. 
Yeah, when in doubt, why not just connect everything with everything? Okay, actually, I think what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try. We just connect the first one to begin with. And then this will be like a 2 3 4 situation. No, because then it's. Mm. It's the wrong color! I would need this one. Underneath like that. Like, I can do that. I've got three of them. But then I can't connect to that red one. I also connect it to that and they all fight. No, it's... No, I do this. Will they fight? No, it doesn't fight enough. Oh, but if I do that... No, that makes it more powerfully red. I need it more powerfully blue. So I need that one up there to be red. I can do it by connecting it to that. I, okay, I'm just trying. Because now if that one's red, then I can go boom, boom, boom. Connect it to that and that. That's more powerfully red at the moment. If I also connect it to that, will it be more blue? No, it doesn't. Okay. I do that. Still. Red. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying. I'm just moving stuff at the moment. Right, so that's not going to work for this one because that is wrong color. But then, what if I did that? No, but they're all connected to that, so it doesn't quite work. Okay, get me back out of here. I think I'm close with that, though, actually. I think I can actually make that work. figure out a way to also connect this here and not break everything. Maybe we're putting this here. Okay, that opens the first two. And then there's I've I've made a real tangle here. What happens if I go up here? I take that away. That would cross through that one from this angle. So that doesn't work. Huh. Hold on. Wait, why is that? Oh, yeah, that's just connected to the last blue one. That's figuring out how to get this last blue one, I think, is the, the challenge here. Oh, I guess if I do that. It's red at the moment, but I may be able to push it and make it blue. Now if I do that. Now it's breaking breaking everything. Uh you know how I said I love lasers? I still love lasers. These ones are somehow not working with my brain. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. What am I what am I doing? I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna step away and come back to that one because I am <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I was doing in there. I am just I kept trying things that I knew would not work. I do not know why. Right, let's try and find 
Oh, do I have to do these two first? Hmm. Right, because it says there's a bridge here, but... Oh, can I do the bridge? I didn't look at the bridges because I kind of just presumed I would need things for it, but maybe I won't? Oh. Oh, these are regular bridges. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Use a bridge to reach a new island in Interlupus. Oh, my... <gasps> Whoa. That's cool. That, I was not expecting that. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. And also for pouring dice on my head. Shall I roll a d20? Shall I see what my luck is? Let's give it a roll. 19, I will take it. I will take that. That is surprisingly good. I was expecting a low roll after whatever I was doing in that first puzzle. Or the second puzzle even. <laughs> but thank you for the, the dice on my head and also the hydrate. Oh, the music is so good. But I've had a sip of my monster. And I've used a bridge to get to another island. And this one has three, four, five. So, oh, hello. Hi. When I said you didn't kill Miranda, I was lying. I just said it because that's what you're supposed to say. You did kill her. Oh. I tried to temper her arrogance to give her perspective, but you always encouraged her megalomania. You made her think she was special. She was chosen because you still think you're the chosen one. No, that's not what I think at all. I don't want to be treated like I'm special. Then why did we leave? Because you were tired of having to argue. Because they poured all their fantasies into me and turned me into the Founder. Because they couldn't stop and think for themselves because they refused to grow up. Oh, oh and growing up means doing exactly what you want them to? I don't know. But maybe... maybe it does. I, I, I think Alexandra was right about everything, but I don't know how to show them. Ow. Cornelius would never say anything like that. He loved Athena so deeply that sometimes I worried none of us could ever live up to his example. Yeah, that is, th that's not what Cornelius would say. That's not what Cornelius would think. That is what, that is what Athena has been creating. In her mind, I am, oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay, right, let's try three. See how we do with three. <laughs> I'll come back to two later. <laughs> Oscillation! Oh, yes, yes, this is... Yes. Oh, it's red! Haha! <gasps> -ha. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I, d I don't know how I would be able to. Oh! Yeah, they're on opposite sides. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. All right. Can I catch that as well? No, this also needs the... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is... Hmm. 
This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is about arranging it. In such a way that they'll... Probably cross through each other. Do I... Would it work if I do... That? Then also... more to it than this. There's more to it than this. This is... very powerful if I do it that way around. Too powerful. Red connected to blue. And there. Blue connected to red. And there. How about this? They fully, they fully, like, fight against each other if I do this. the red so well if I do that. And then if I did the same this side as well, this would connect to the blue, but I don't think it would... No, I'm connecting them like the wrong way around. Oh. Hatchet order. <laughs> yeah, I, I, love, I love how you always do them the opposite way around. I, I could not do that. I'm... I feel like, like, even if it would make it more interesting, I feel like I'm, I would feel so bad not starting at one. <laughs> just from, like, n for no particular reason. Just, I would feel bad. All right, if I do that, I've just got this immediately. It's like, if I then do this... I could just connect both of these. <laughs> I don't think there's a position I could put it in where it, it, it'll reach both of them because of where they're positioned. I wish I could connect it to both, but I cannot. Right, I need to. I need to step back and look at the whole picture again. Right, red laser. Red connector on the other side. Blue laser, blue connector on the other side. This is more over this side. Therefore. Something like that. That just blocks it like that immediately. Ah, 
this one, I, I'm, I'm getting like so caught up in these and I don't know why. Right, time to try things I have not tried yet. They will both block off when this happens. Like, I can put the blue on this side. I can put them both on this side. So what if I, I'm having the blue... What if I have this, like, right up here, right close to this? That is just, like, always on like that? But then if... Gonna, like break through it but it's not powerful enough like I would oh no oh no and then I won't be able to see the other one if I I'm blocking it like this way ah I put it here. No, it's like that won't block it properly. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm trying. Yeah, they're not easy. These concise laser rooms especially. I think it's like the fact that it is so small and there's so little to work with. It feels like it should be easier because of less components, but it kind of just makes it more complex because there is like, there's no room for experimentation and stuff you've got to make things so tight and precise and if you don't know what you're doing like me right now then it's just oh oh no because i'm still gonna block it by doing this that'll that still blocks that red laser if i do this Like that, okay, no, yeah, that makes sense. It's here. Back next to the blue. And then when it goes down, I think I could make it a red connection. Ah, oh, it's because it's connected to this laser. If I just had a bit more red power. I had another thing I could connect this to in a different way. I thought it would be powerful enough to push that way, but I guess not because of it being What if 
I just... Oh no, if I do this, it's just not connected to the blue. But if I connect that to the blue... No, it's... That connected to red, but now it's not connecting to the blue. <laughs> Always so close, yet so far. Ah. Get the red, but not the blue. I put it like here. No. That's just blocking completely. Okay, 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 okay. I'm stepping back and trying again. <laughs> uh, you know they're rough when the game's only asking you to do eight of them. Yeah, when there's 24 and it's like, you must do these, these eight trials. <sighs> oh, Rebirth does that a lot. The difficulty, despite there being a small amount of things happening. Honestly, I think it, it's really fascinating. It's, it's really like, it's one thing to make like a big, sprawling complex kind of puzzle but it's so interesting when you manage to like make something complex with so much less as well like it's it's like a different type of difficulty and that connects to there like that it's like <laughs> Like, okay, but if only, if only it wouldn't break, break the, the red by doing that. Yeah, because if I still breaks the red, yep. Yeah. Oh, unless... <gasps> Hold on. I just connected to that and said, no, it's, it, it's, it's got both of them, so that does not work. I if I can connect that to that and go like that, and then this is connected to that. what I'm making now like what what if I what if I just made here because uh, I'm thinking like My mindset is really set on it being symmetrical at the moment. I don't think it's symmetrical. I think I need to stop thinking like this. I keep trying to, like, even it out, alternate it, like, in a perfectly symmetrical way. But because this is not lined up, I don't think the solution is symmetrical. I think I need to stop. <laughs> I need to just stop. I need to stop. The problem is figuring out how to bring everything around. Like, if I connect this and this, like, that will connect to the blue, and then, and then when it goes back down, it will break. So 
So when it comes back down, if I have this connected... That does it. That does it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's it. I needed to stop thinking symmetrically. Why... Why do I always do that? I need... I did it. I did it. It's the problem. I get so dead set on like this is the way to solve it the prophet athena was sent unto fail. new jerusalem to guide its people into a new age and Please. she said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over every living thing that moveth upon the earth but in time the people of new jerusalem grew fearful and their faith grew weak. They shrugged off their burdens and embraced sloth. Let the earth replenish itself, they said, and let no one have dominion. Okay. Out of the words of the prophet, they made an idol called the founder and set it above themselves, and it had dominion over all. Story time. I'm so excited for story time. Also, I want to explore for secrets. In case there are secrets about. Maybe. Maybe not here. But I think there might be secrets about, maybe. Hmm. much to think about. Now open both gates at the same time. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> but thank you for the confetti. Right, let's try four. I'm gonna try four and five. And then hopefully go back to two and solve it immediately after not overthinking. Oh, <laughs> The mad and the foolish see more of the sublime than priests and kings. Prometheus. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a raid! Hi! Hi, Cassandra! Hello, check these! Welcome! <laughs> Welcome on in! Hi, raiders! Welcome! If you joined, like, a, a minute or two earlier, you would have seen me be an absolute genius. But it's okay, there will hopefully be more genius moments as well. <laughs> but thank you for the raid! Welcome in! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, everybody! Welcome, raiders! How was the stream? How'd it go? I hope you had a fun time. Uh, welcome to puzzle time. Uh, what is Threads of Fate? I don't think I know that game. Oh my goodness, another raid! <gasps> I just got double raided from two different people. <laughs> Hi Sparrow, welcome! But yes, welcome, welcome check these raiders. Welcome Sparrow raiders, come on in! Welcome to puzzle time! It's Puzzle Sunday, I'm doing the DLC for the Talos Principle 2. So I'm gonna like stand in an alcove. So if anyone doesn't want to get spoiled, you see rocks. I'm spoiling you for the rocks. <laughs> but welcome in! Special delivery flat tire! I... D Do you want me to replace it for you? I don't have a spare tire. I count so. 39 rocks. <laughs> 39 rocks! Oh my goodness, thank you! Thank you for the resub for 39 months! Oh my goodness. A million years. Also, oh, what are your favorite... PS1 games. RPG game with two different routes. Boy has tra monster transformation powers. Girl has magic. That sounds cool. I've not heard of that game before. I'll have to check that out. I have uh, thre Threads of Fate. Threads of Fate. I I'm going to look that up. I'm so curious. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid this way. And uh, for anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri, I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And at the moment, it is puzzle time! I'm playing the Talos Principle 2 DLC, and I, I love this game so much. Uh, also, Jules, uh, by watch your language, do I mean cursing? It's mostly just like, I don't mind the odd swear word from time to time, but like, if you're just adding swear words to everything you say, or saying things like, in an offensive way, like, uh, there's a difference between, like, that's shit and, oh, that's the shit. Like, it's like 
very context-based. Just, just be reasonable, pretty much. <laughs> But yeah, I'm. It's it's a mostly family-friendly stream. I will occasionally swear when I get really startled by something, but I, I don't tend to just I don't tend to swear very often in general. Just like as who I am as a person. So it's 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 just like just be a decent person, and it's all good. But yes, thank you so much for both of the raids. Also, uh, Sparrow. Uh, until then, what what's that game? Does it involve cars with flat tires? <laughs> but thank you, thank you for the the raids. Uh, if if either of you have to head off after your stream, if you're tired and have to go rest or get some food or drink, I fully understand. And you don't have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, I am currently playing the hardest DLC pack for the Talos 2 DLC. And um, I've already gotten stuck on one puzzle, so it's... I got stuck on the second puzzle in the area. And to complete it, you have to do eight puzzles. There are 24 to choose from. I feel like that says a lot about the difficulty. <laughs> but I am so here for it. I love the difficult puzzles. I love when it's hard. Uh, also, Mama, hello! Are you too early for Twofold Taco Cat Tuesday? You're a little early. But, uh, it's okay. You can sit here as long as you want. <laughs> I never close the doors of my stream. If you want to sit and chat for two days, that is completely fine. It, it's a, an open space for everybody. <laughs> and I might even see chat messages if they are posted outside of stream. I have seen a few in the past and been like, why are you here? I'm not streaming. <laughs> but hi. You're good with this plan. Excellent. Good plan. But yeah, I hope the streams went well, though. I'm I'm having so much fun with the Talos 2 DLC because I'm currently doing, like, it's like a moment from the game, like, from the perspective of one of the characters when a lot of stuff went down and all of the puzzles in here are so difficult. Like, these were made to be, like, the trickiest puzzles. And I've already solved two of them, so I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. But I was just having a little hunt around for secrets before I go try the next one. And I found a terminal. And I'm gonna use it. Loading error, loading unknown script fragment. You have come to the many watered grounds of Dion, most sacred to Zeus. Here in the, sh in the shadow of Olympus itself, the Macedonians have built great temples filled with wondrous mosaics and statues wrought from finest marble. Perhaps here you will find the answers you seek. I will enter the Sanctuary of Zeus. Oh my goodness. Yes. Text adventure. Yes. Oh, <laughs> this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I'm so happy. Okay, okay. Yes, skedaddle. But wanted to send some love. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the resub too. I feel like we, we got to catch up soon. I feel like the, the year has passed so quickly. And I always say to people, oh, we should hang out soon. We should catch up soon. And then before I know it, four months has passed. And I'm like, oops. <laughs> but it's so overdue. We got to figure something out. But I hope you have a lovely rest of your day too. It's been so fast. It has. I, I don't know where 2024 has gone. I feel like I've had the weirdest year it's been such a roller coaster year there have been so many ups and downs and i i don't know where the time's gone it's the, it, it's like i blink and three months have passed <laughs> i don't get it but it's okay i keep on keeping on all the stuff i keep planning to do they will happen eventually it would be nice if time stopped vanishing so i could do them but it's okay <laughs> it'd be like that it's going somewhere i'm I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going there. I'm doing it. Not sure where I'm going, but I'm going to enjoy the journey. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. But yes, I'm I'm now I'm not doing puzzles now. We're doing a text adventure because I found a computer. <laughs> When you step into the Sanctuary of Zeus, you are startled to find it empty and abandoned. The walls are overgrown and part of the temple is flooded. An old man dressed in strange clothes sits on a chair in the corner. 
do I speak to the old man or go outside? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the old man. Hello. Time carries away all things, the old man intones. It has carried away the kingdoms of the Greeks and the Romans that followed you, and it will carry away the empires of this age also. Therefore, it is best not to strive for anything but to hide away in dreams where time has no power. Not everything is carried away by time. Well, that is just patently untrue. <laughs> that is just incorrect. Uh, despite the power of time, it is best to keep striving. It's, it's gotta be this one. It's gotta be this one. Time is powerful. And I dislike it. But it's best to keep striving. Why? The old man says. And you hear the despair of millennia rising in his voice. Why, when nothing lasts, when war always comes, and children die, and even the best of us are poisoned by the chthonic madness that justifies killing? It is a good question. All right, because the world may yet change, because our successes add up over time, because life has value in itself and the bad does not erase the good. Ah, oh, I'm torn between these two. I like these two. Uh, I think I'm going for the second one. Because life has value in itself and the bad does not erase the good. Like, bad things happening does not negate the good things that are happening. Like, the good is still there. What value can there be in something that ends only in darkness or fire? <laughs> uh, the ending does not define the whole, it's only a moment. The value of life is inherent, it is self-evident and does not require justification. Value is found in the struggle against that end. I like this one. I like this one. I don't think it's about the ending. I think... Like, even if the ending is bad, if the journey is good, and there's more after the ending, like a new beginning after that... Like, the, the end is never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. I like that one. The ending does not define the whole. It's only a moment. The old man begins to shake as if possessed. The stones of the temple crack. <laughs> no, it's the 5358 again. Ah! Ah! Wise words, he roars. But you have mistaken me for a philosopher. His eyes glow with a terrible fire. Do I shield myself or look into the fire? I'm, I'm looking into the fire. I'm looking into the fire. I think... Whatever's in there, I want to know. I'm not going to cower away. I am looking into the fire. You look into the fire. It burns you, but you do not turn away. I will show you the truth. A terrible abyss opens before you, and you are overwhelmed by a vision of misery. Oh, I wonder what this says. All the terrors of human existence come alive before you. The very worst that human beings have done to each other in the name of greed or creed. Not merely the individual acts of cruelty, but the faceless cruelty of war, of poverty, of exploitation. Lives lived in fear and confusion and loneliness. Potential squandered, dreams forgotten, their very humanity degraded and destroyed. Well, I know what I'm doing here, but first I want to see what this says. I'm going to decode this. Right, was there, was there something else as well? We know what 5358 means. No, that I, yeah, up here. I want to see what this says. Right, time to, to find my good old trusty hexadecimal converter out. And hope that my phone will convert the text properly. Okay, 
let's get the text from here. It is not extracting the text. Give me a second. <laughs> here we go. Please, just give me the string of letters and numbers. Yes, okay, I got him, I got him. Now I just need to find my, my bookmarked hexadecimal converter. Where did I save this bookmark on my phone? Ah, I think I found it. Here it is. Convert. Okay, this up here, this says a uh, bellum omnium contra amnes. That sounds Latin to me. Is that Latin? Let's have a look. It is. It is, it translates to the war of all against the tide. Oh, that's interesting. The war of all against the tide. Right, this <laughs> is all the 5358. No, stop doing this to me. No! Stop flashing the options at me. I know. I know the options are there. I want to see what this says first. <laughs> I will choose eventually. Alright, let me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Please recognize. Yes, okay. It's so hard to select the text sometimes because what I'm doing is I'm I'm taking a photo of my screen with my phone and then using that and putting that into the hexadecimal converter on my phone and converting it there. Right, this one says uh, Homo homini lupus. What is homo homini lupus? Lupus is like... Wolf? Oh, one man wolf. Oh, it's, it's, it's gonna mean lone wolf. I bet it means lone wolf. Homo homini is like one man, so that's lone wolf. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I converted those. Oh, and Kiroboros, thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, let me have a, a sip before I stare into the abyss because I'm not looking away from this. I'm going to stare into the abyss and see if it stares back. The abyss pulls you down into its depths. You understand what it means to be small and lost and afraid while fire rains from the sky. You scream for your parents, for your siblings, for the pain to stop. You understand that other human beings are causing this pain. You understand what it means for this to happen a thousand times, then 10,000, then a million. It is unbearable. <laughs> Try to hold on, oh, 5358. <laughs> Try to hold on. Try to hold on. <laughs> this is the truth, the old man screams. This is the abyss of time, space, decay, suffering. 5358, five, this mortal. How do you bear the unbearable? How do you bear the unbearable? How do you bear the unbearable? Faith, even if it's a desperate, half-broken faith. There is a way of reasoning this out. There must be. Surrender. Well, I'm not surrendering. I'm not surrendering. There is a way of reasoning this out. There must be. I do like the idea of faith. Like, I feel like a lot of people hear faith as an option and immediately go to religion. But faith is more than that. Faith is like, 
faith in your own beliefs, faith that things can get better, faith that things will change. It doesn't have to be a religious faith. It can be a very personal faith. I do, oh, I'm actually, the more I'm saying it, the more I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm picking the faith one. <laughs> I just convinced myself. How to bear the unbearable? Faith. Even if it's a desperate, half-broken faith. Despite the pain we cause, despite the ugliness that surrounds us, despite the disgusting dark pits of human behavior, despite the stupidity, beside, uh, despite time and entropy and death, can you have faith in a world that kills its children? Yes. Yes, it, it, it is awful. It is an awful world. There are bad things. But all of the bad does not erase the good. Yes. I still have faith. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All right. What's, what does this say? What does this say? Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, get my phone out again. Oh my goodness. This is way more intense than I thought it was going to be. Okay, my phone may struggle to decipher this, so I'm gonna hope it goes through all right. Seems to be struggling with the, the white on black at the moment. But I think it should be okay, let's try it. I'll just double check. Uh, so it's 5206. This is the line it struggled with. 06E. Six nine six eight six. Yeah, I think the rest is okay. Let's see. Let's see if this deciphers. Uh, vo value is not hex. Okay, where is it messed up? Oh, it's put an R instead of an F. <laughs> that is not an R, that is the letter F. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, here we go. Uh, homo sum humani ame nihil alienum puto. That is... Latin again, I'm guessing. I hope it might have like messed up some of the letters along the way, but I got a basic gist of it. Oh no, no, I got it all. It got it all. Okay, this one is Latin, and the translation for it is I am a human being, and I think that nothing is alien to me. That's interesting. Okay. Prometheus speaks the act of faith, son of man is the foundation stone of the city of dreams. Every other victory against the abyss can be won by the powers of reason, but not that very first which makes you human. But faith is not a blessing bestowed from above. It is a choice made within. You will have to make that choice many more times before your journey is over. Oh, I love that. I love that. I loved that. Finish the fragmented text adventure. Yes, I got an achievement for that. This entire DLC is so incredibly intense. I love it. Oh, and I can't do it again. I can't do it again. That's it. I've, I've, I've made my choices. I can't try it again. That's it. Is there anything like round the back? Anything round the back? Okay, I don't think there's anything around the back. But I like that it lets me go around the back. Oh, there might be something down here. This looks like a hidden path. Okay, maybe not. I, it may just lead to nothing. <laughs> okay, I was so excited being like, oh, maybe I found a hidden path. Maybe there's something here. I don't think there is. 
If there is, I missed it. But that's okay. Anyway, I want to do another puzzle, so I'm going into number four. Pretty views, comfy reading nook. Yeah, you're so right. Let me just pull out my uh, straton of stagger book. <laughs> Alternation, yes. Okay, okay, we got red. Red. So I can start by doing that. And that opens the blue laser then. So then I can use the blue laser for here. Go like this. Okay, that, oh, that needs to be red. Okay. So th this is interesting. Yeah, because I need that red to keep this open. Oh, wait, why don't I just do it this side? Why am I why am I doing it this side? So I do that here. And also here. Like that. Right, like that. Yeah, that will block the, the blues. Which is why it is alternate. So to do that, I'm, I'm going to start by not doing that one. I will just do this and this. And then I'll do that. Because that makes that open now, so I can step in here. And I can see that. However... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I pick that up, that's going to break. What if I... What if I connect that to both of these? And also this? Okay. So that opens that like that then, and then it breaks it. As soon as the blue pops in, it then breaks it. Okay, let me look at this properly. We got blue there, blue there, blue there. And then the blue laser is only activated by the red opening here. Which then becomes a problem because the red is over here and we need it back there. So that's gonna be where the alternating comes in. If I can set this up, oh wait, hold on. Right, if I set this up here. Set it up here. And then I set this up here. Okay, it breaks that. idea is going to be to make the blue self-sustaining by managing to connect it through the door. The only trick is figuring out how to do that. With these. And I think I'm going to have to, like, set it up in, like, an alternating reds and blues situation. So, like, what I'm going to do is, like, we're going to have... This is red. 
and also blue. This is connected to just all four of these. It just keeps breaking like that. I think I think I know the the idea behind this one. It's going to be about well, it's it's called alternating, so it's going to be like that. But I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use one connector to do both things and figure out a way to switch them. So like if this is where all the blues are going to be, then figure out a way to connect the reds. So it will also, also go through. Right, then that opens like that. Ideally, I'd be able to connect Connect the blue like around here, but I can't do it that way when it's set up like this. If I did that, yeah, that that'll block the way, so that doesn't work. door, but we're not connected to the blue in either of these if I do that. So if I... Oh, what if I... Get that third red over to here. I need I need to get a red beam over here. How can I do that without breaking them, without crossing crossing them? How do I alternate them? How do I how do I make this work? Like if I can just switch between the the red and the blue. Oh, maybe if I connect this to there and there. Oh, I didn't mean to connect that one. Oh, oh no. Almost it. Okay, it's just this one. But I don't connect it to the third one. I connect it to these and do that. Do that. Yeah, no, no, I need the... I need this to be blue for a bit. Mm. I do need that to connect to the blue. I need to connect it to the red as well. I need to block the laser before it... back. Move this like as far back as I can. Yeah. that one and that one and that one and that one 
I place it here. Oh, but I need the, the blue as well. There's no alternating at the moment, that's the problem. Oh, blue on this side. I'm going to extend the red laser line over so it's a little weaker, so it has a little less push. And then what I'm going to do is I will select all of these to here and here. But then I'll also connect it to the blue to here, here, and here. This is just like connected to everything. If I put this here... then it will line up with everything. Oh, but that door won't open without the... without a blue, okay. There's, there's too many, there's too many reds. It's too much, my brain is turning to mush. Let's have a look at five. <laughs> Oh, I I feel like I feel like a lot of these puzzles are like sleep on them type puzzles. These are the type of puzzles that I need to ruminate over in my head for hours <laughs> to figure out. But I, I'll go back to him. I'll go back to him. Let's go for five. Tritogenea. I love I love lasers. Okay, so we got red, we got green, we got blue. Oh, this is gonna be oh. <gasps> oh. This is timing. Now I want to connect to these. Right, I see what happens if I do that. That made it green. I've locked it out, but can we give it more blue power? If I give it more blue power, will it get bluer? No, it does not. Okay. Right, blue is over that side and is here. Green is just like right in the middle. Red is over this side and here. How can I alternate these connections? I think... I'm, I'm actually thinking maybe this could be... Each of them connected to two. It's like, if this is connected to red and green. But then the red will get blocked and make it go green. I've got no red doing this. The red is just gone if I do this. But uh, this is gonna be interesting. I think there's gonna be timing involved here too. Because like the fact that I can turn them on and off and make them start going up and down at different times. This is interesting. Need blue connected first, then green, then red. Is there a way I can connect this to all three and have them going in like 
the right order. No, not with the green in the middle, I don't think. But if I do like the blue and the green here. And then the red and the green here. Start with that. Oh, I need to. When this one gets that one gets to the top, I'm gonna start doing this one. There. Right, and then the swap. That's, that's no. Okay. Right, I'm gonna have them like alternating to begin with. Either way, I'm gonna have like. One is down while the other is up as my starting point. Because I don't know. I don't know why I'm starting with that. I just have a feeling. So I'm thinking... And that will happen, but then it will swap and go to blue. If I can figure out how to fit the green in here, I am set. But the problem is the green is right in the middle, so... <laughs> oh, it's gonna be that little moment in between when they're both blocked. I need a longer moment where they're both blocked. And then it can connect to green like that. I think that's how I do it. But I need a, a little longer moment where they're both blocked. Right, let's try this. That's long enough for the red. That's the green. That's the blue. It's long enough for all of them. I'm doing it in the reverse order. I've done it the opposite way around. It needs to be the opposite of what I've done, but it will still work because the doors are all opening, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I did it backwards, but it's still gonna work. I just have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Yay! Set it up! It's just like making the spider in the middle so that the green is a little weaker, so it doesn't just overpower it completely. So the green will only work when none of the others are connected. And then the other two just take it in turns. Yay! <laughs> I did it! Oh, that was fun. Saddened by the foolishness of her people, Athena went into exile with her husband, the sage Cornelius. Together they crossed the wide and angry sea until at last they came unto the Isle of Atlas. Here they made their home. And here they brought forth Miranda. Ah, Miranda. Oh my goodness, the music is incredible. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I'm proud of that one. I'm proud of my solution for that one. It was a little messy. I could have gotten the timing better and I did do it the opposite way around, but I'm proud. I'm proud. Yeah, because this one's called Alternation. it's gonna be a situation of like what will take priority i'm gonna start by literally connecting everything to everything In very smart fashion What did I start with this? How did I start with this? Right, the main problem is like, I think this is gonna be the alternation here. You 
need a way to alternate between the red and the blue. I guess by like, if I do this, and I can connect all of this, if I can then figure out a way that will break the red, then the laser will turn red. But I'd need a way to do that from like in here. Hmm. And I can't pull the thing in here, so. Hmm. I need a way to break that laser. Can I break it? This is how I can break it. Open that. Okay, no, that, that breaks the, the blue laser too quickly. If I connect it to the blue as well. won't stay open long enough. If I connect this to the red as well. Yeah, no, I've, I've just made a mess. You know what I've done? I made a mess. Woo! <laughs> oh, pretty sure your solution to five was way messier than that. Yeah, I think for that one, I've... That was definitely, like, the intended solution. Like, I, I saw it and it I knew it would be a moment of, like, weakening the green in the middle to then alternate between the red and the blue and like make sure they all get a long enough turn so to speak so like I, I feel proud that I managed to finesse that quickly enough alright what happens if I do this yeah that just like they block each other out Then what if I also do that? Oh, that made it red! That made it red! Yes, that works! Oh my god! I do it like this. There we go, it's blue to start with and then it goes red. I got it, I got it! Yes! I got it, I alternated it! Oh, uh, uh, yes! Stepping away and thinking about it, then coming back approach. <laughs> Works In the every time. Of Olympus, Athena pursued her yeah. sacred work. And it came to pass that there was revealed unto her the true nature of the word which underlies all creation, and knowledge of which grants dominion over all earthly things. So that's what they meant by the language of creation. A theory of everything. Full control over physics. Oh. But her daughter Miranda was brash and did not heed Athena's warnings. Before Athena had completed her great work, Miranda was consumed by fire and so was lost beyond the utmost bound of human thought. So Miranda is dead. And Athena's grief is echoing through the entire system. Of course, because all of this was happening, like, Byron was sucked in, like, right after the second time we went in the megastructure. This is before we'd figured out all of this. He's learning it from in here. Okay, I'm going to teleport. As cool as the bridges are. I'm oh, wait! <laughs> I got an achievement for using the map. Achievement for using a bridge, achievement for using the map. That's very nice. I will take those. But uh, thank you for the hydrate. I have had a sip. And good night. I hope you sleep well as well. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, I feel powerful now. Right, let's see if I'm powerful enough for two. How powerful am I feeling? The other. This is, like, this is another alternating situation. It's going to be about the power of the, the laser. It's 
gonna be about what's more powerful. So I'm gonna start with the blue, that goes into red. And now it's a little bit weaker, but it's going to the blue. So we go like that. So then I can go through here and set up this connector, but the question is, what do I want this connected to? It's gonna be... a way to like weaken the connection to make them alternate. I just need to figure out how to do that. Like if I connect that up here, all right, that blocks, blocks that out like that. Hmm. And what if I connect it to that as well? Like that's made it really red. Hmm. How can I also yeah, oh. Uh, oh, you assume Abyss has the nice easy achievements to console the players who come in and can't solve any of the puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I would I could I could see that. It's just like, hey, you you tried. You tried your best. Here's the, the consolation prize. Look, you used a, a map. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so it's just like, because I can do this like that, but it'll break. Oh, unless maybe... I, I sure wish I could just take this out of here. We've got a nice a nice blue up there. I can extend the blue. I can extend the red. If I put that into there. If I put that into there. Oh that break that just breaks that. Okay. Good to know. Right, I'm gonna try just using this to, to start the whole chain. Like it's slightly weakened now because we've added an extra point to it. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do now. I'm connecting it to the, to the red, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna connect it to the blue here. And then this one will be connected to the blue and the red. And I'll switch them. I will change what this laser is connected to. And switch them. Like, it's blue at the moment. I'm connected to the blue at the moment. I will connect it to this one and make it red. I will swap them. I'll swap them. I'll do that. We got red. Connect. 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 Okay, no, it just broke it. Okay. But I think, I think this will work though. I need to swap the, the colors. Like they're connected to the wrong ones at the moment. I need to figure out how I can change that. Oh, I know it. I know what to do. I've got it. Okay, these are all connected to each other now. This is just a nice little selection. Everything's connected to each other. Connected to the one at the top. We've got a very nice time. And now I'll just connect it to the other one. And it does it the other way around. Yes! 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 I got it! I got it! Stricken with grief. I love the this The prophet song. lost faith in the word. Caught between a dying past and a future struggling to be born, she retreated into the lands of dream. But even here, her nightmares pursued her. From her mind came forth phantoms, shadows cast by the flame. And her dreams of trials and towers fled from the darkness into the waking world. And that's what we found on the island, not a test, 
but pain and fear and hope spilling out of her dreams. Oh, I love this. Honestly, stroke of genius on Byron's part there, just being like, I, I don't know how to express this, just be like, make it a story. It is just a story. Just tell a story. Don't worry about the emotions, the attachments. Detach yourself. Make it a, a nice little fiction story. Very, very smart approach. Also, I just realized I like I ran straight past this. Hi. Look at what you've done. You were supposed to protect us, <laughs> no, to lead us. But you're reckless and, and arrogant. I did. I tried to. But nobody would listen. They only heard what they wanted to hear. Look at this machine that you built. Do you really think this is a tool? It's a weapon. It killed your daughter. And now you're going to give it to your children? And what do you think is going to happen next? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't like these. I don't like these these voice memory moments. I'm I'm not a fan of these horrific monstrosities. Huh. Right, I guess we go this way then, because this is six and seven. I'm ready to bloop. Wee! Oh, this is so this is wild. Okay, there's a map board here too. Excellent. And I also saw this out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> we get to hear the actors in a new role though. No. Yeah, I it's I hate it, but I also love it. It's it's really interesting to like hear them in a way that's not them. Like it's it it is so cool. When I say I hate it, I mean I love it. But I hate it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just here like, I can't stand this. This is awful. I love it. Devastate me more. I'm ready for it. Give me the emotional devastation. Even if you hadn't killed me, oh. it would all have gone wrong anyway. I did ask for it. <laughs> Do you think they would have accepted me in New Jerusalem? Oh. Me, with all my precious self-important speeches about the beauty of the cosmos and our duty to spread life. My ridiculous, wide-eyed innocence, my childish affectations. They would have laughed at me. No, they're not like that. They, they mean well. He, even the worst of them are just scared. They're selfish and greedy and stupid. You know that, Mother. Compared to you, they're all so very stupid. Mm. You hate them. You despise them. They're beneath you. That's not true. That's not how I think. Please, Miranda, I'm... I, I, I don't know. I don't know where I am. Oh, it does such a good job of making the brain gremlins real. Oh my goodness, this is... I love how I was like, I'm ready for the emotional devastation and then I, I, I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Also, Shayabme, hello, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Hope my Sunday's been going well. It's been going incredibly. I mean, it's technically Monday for me now because it's uh, it's past midnight. <laughs> but I've been having an amazing time. I love this game. I love this game so much. This this game is so special to me. And the puzzles are hard. I'm so happy. Also, CJ, hello, welcome, welcome. Also, QR code. Has anyone ever made a wise choice or do we see the workings of chance and call it wisdom? The Sphinx. Okay, I need to find a, a Pandora QR code now because we found Prometheus and the Sphinx. Oh, the music is so good. Ah, the music's so good. Oh, honestly, don't know anything about it. Oh, the Talos Principle and the Talos Principle 2 are my two favorite puzzle games, like full stop. I love these games. They are such good games. I love them. Can you actually scan that QR code? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, and it will give the, the same text. If anyone wants to try it, there it is. <laughs> Hold on, I want to try it now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can 
scan all of the QR codes. Yeah, and it, it gives you the text that's on the QR code when you scan it. It's really cool. Yeah, it, it, this QR code has that text when you scan it. It's so cool. Ah, oh, just off visuals, it makes you think of Mist. Oh, it is. I would say it is very different to Mist from what I remember of Mist. But it is so incredible. Like, the visuals at the moment, I'm currently in the last DLC section of the additional DLC for the game. So I've completed the main game. I've completed two DLC sections. And this is um, not how the world usually looks. The, that much is for sure. <laughs> but everything, like all of the graphics are so good. They're so good. This is hell. Well, this is, this is the inside of the mind of a broken woman. <laughs> So kind of is, yeah, this is this is kind of hell. I guess this is this is the abyss. And we're trying to get out. Or at least trying to maneuver ourselves in a way that we can be pulled out. But anyway, I'm I'm ready for another puzzle. Let's try number six. Voyager! Okay. Okay. Fan. I'm gonna use this fan to drop some buttons. I'm gonna put this on here so we can get cute. I don't think there's anything else in there. No, okay. I'll borrow that. Right. In there, there's a drill. I would like that drill. So I'm gonna put the fan back. <laughs> and grab cube to drop the cube on here to power the fan so I can jump over. Drill. Yes. And so now using that, I don't even know where I need to get this to. Oh, okay, it's here. Right, so using this... I... don't think I need the fan anymore. So I'm bringing this around. I'm gonna put this on here so that the, the connector can go over the top of it, because it's smaller. And then I'm gonna grab this. that and now I can use the drill oh drill to get the connector out I was gonna say I don't know if I can do that actually hmm. all right oh wait what's okay that that makes a line of sight for the connector when I can get that out now I need to figure out how to get the connector out of here <gasps> Using the drill. Using the drill, where did I put it? Here. Drill. So we have the drill here. And that'll keep the fan going. Okay, I'm gonna get the fan back. I get the fan back for now. So I can then hmm. No, because I was like if I can then pass the connector through here. I might be able to place it here. Then yeah, then I can pull this through. But I need the drill, I think. I think I'll need a dr the drill. It's 
to get through, so what I actually have to do now is... I'm gonna do like a big old switcheroo. Like, I'll, I'll keep the connector there for now. What I need to do is... Oh, I, no, I can't bring that through my own... Okay. Okay, if I take that off there, I'm gonna... Shut myself. I, I may have shut myself in a hole. I think that, yeah, I think I... I did a silly. I may have trapped myself. Uh, it's not that. But I see what I have to do now. <laughs> I see what I have to do and it's not that. <laughs> but what I need to do is... Start with this. Borrow the fan to get cube. Cube can now press buttons. Put fan back on here. Use cube to activate fan. And then drill. Drill can go like here. Keep store open. And then I can bring the cube back around. Do I need the cube? Hmm. Right, I need to I need to bring the connector through here. So I need to figure out. A way that I can do that. I think I do need the drill in there. I think I do this. But I still need to be able to get out of this room, so what I need to do is... Mm, it's such a challenge to get the connector out without then shutting myself somewhere. Because it's going to be a situation of like, pass the connector through here, then pass it through here to get it out. But then I need to make sure the fan stays activated so I can get out, because as soon as I pass that through, I am going to get trapped in here. So yeah, I need the drill in here. I need the drill in here. I'll go here. Okay, I think I've got it. We'll soon see. We'll soon see if I've actually got it. Right, I will pass this through. That door's now shut. I jumped too soon. I didn't grab it. Can I reach it through there? No, I can't. I didn't mean to actually jump on it then. And now I can't get back in because I've, I've sealed it off. I can't believe this. Can't believe this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have to restart, I think. Is there a way I can get out of this? Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> this is probably the, the 1 a.m. effect now, I think. We've returned to the, the 1 a.m. effect, but it's okay. It's okay. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. We do that. I've got cube. Cube and fan. Get me over to the next room. Drill. On here. Oh no, I need, to, yeah, I need drill through there. Uh, cube, through there. I'm zip zooping now. Cube on there. Drill here. I 
night trap drill in here if I... Are you kidding me? Okay, I didn't take the connector this time, thank goodness. Oh, I am so bad at, like, accidentally jumping on the fan. Right, so now I've got that. So if I bring the connector over now... See what happens if I do this. I, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. Yeah, I need the drill. I need the drill out here. So that's not going to work because to get that to the end, I then need to be drilling here, which I have not got. So I need to make sure the drill is available and I don't lock it in that room. Okay, but then what do I place? The cube? I get. Oh, I guess the cube, and then I keep the drill in here. Hmm. Okay, much to think about. Well, I did at least learn what not to do. I've made good progress in how not to do it. Which feels good to know. <laughs> but... Yeah, there's no way I can reach it with the things I have like this. So I think what I'm going to do is this is going to be where I leave the stream at for this week because it is 1am. And I think 1am is usually around the time when my brain starts really turning to mush and just being like, hey, you want to solve a puzzle? What if you simply do not? I will have a little snoop for secrets, though. I have a little snoop around the edges. Oh, the bridges are so cool, though. I did not expect that to happen when I... when I hopped over one of the bridges. <laughs> but uh, that feels like... A good spot to leave it at, honestly. I, I, I finished DLC 2 and managed to do five puzzles in the abyss. And get a bunch of really difficult achievements, like stand on a bridge and look at a map. <laughs> so I think that's a I think that is a fruitful stream. And I am so excited for next week when I'm gonna play more. <laughs> yes, with that I shall stop game thank you for saving five seconds ago and that will be where i leave it at for now thank you for the head fat too <laughs> right with that i shall bloop i will head on over to here and we can find someone to send a raid on to but uh, thank you so much everyone for joining me today i'm i i have such a soft spot for this game i love this game so much and I'm so happy with the difficulty of the puzzles in the abyss because I, I feel so genuinely smart when I figure them out. Like when I when I got the solution to that one that I was stuck on, when I realized oh I just need to connect it to this and this, and it worked. Like that is such a special moment. That's why I like puzzle games. <laughs> That's why I have so much fun with them. Just those moments that make me feel smart. And also the moments that make me feel very not smart as well, I also really appreciate those. <laughs> because it's, it's, it makes me realize I don't know everything. It helps humble me a bit. Me being here like, oh, I'm so good at puzzles. I'm a genius. And then I just don't know what to do. It's, it is necessary. But I, I love this game. But uh, thank you. Hope I get some sleep before Monday kicks off. Oh, it's okay because thankfully uh, I always have Mondays off so I I can sleep in on a Monday. It's why I do the late night Sunday streams because I know that I can always sleep in on a Monday <laughs> unless I have a doctor's appointment. But even then I usually try and book doctor's appointments in the afternoon so I will get some sleep probably in the morning but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love when you're just sitting in a puzzle with no idea what you could even do. Yeah, I feel like I feel like those moments are 
the kind of thing that some people would hate, but I love it because it always gives me that moment of, I thought I'd figured everything out, but I'm missing something here. And when I find that thing I'm missing, I'm gonna feel both really smart and really stupid at the same time. <laughs> and I love it, I love them so much. But yes, anyway, let's find a raid target. Let's see who's on. Who do ba do boop boop. Oh, actually, I haven't raided Yuria in a while. Hold on. Is she still going? Uh, I don't know if she's still streaming. I just noticed she's like on the pause screen. So I'm going to check a second to see if she's going to keep going. Okay, she is going to keep going. Nice! I'm going to send you over to Yuria! The the red panda of Ilaris. Uh, Yuria is a, a good friend of mine. She's very cool. And she's currently playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. And having a duel with someone? I think? Something? <laughs> I don't know. It seems fun. I just want to send you her way. But yes, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Here is the raid message. If you are subbed, we have fire. If you're not subbed, we still have fire. Because I stared into the fire and the abyss. And came out stronger on the other side. <laughs> oh, that text adventure was wild though. That was great. But yes, I'm gonna send you over Yuria's way and then hopefully get some sleep myself. But I don't think I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to be thinking about that puzzle I just started. <laughs> I'm going to be going through that in my mind, trying to figure it out. But yeah, this has been such a fun time. I'm so excited. Uh, streams next week are probably going to be a little lighter than usual due to aforementioned stuff going on in my life. But there will be the regular Twofold Tuesday. There will be Divinity Friday. There will be Talos Sunday. I think those are going to be my only streams, but they're good streams. <laughs> so with that, I shall pop myself off to bed, I guess. But it has been so much fun. I'm I'm really excited to see the rest of these puzzles because I, I know the game is like, you can like see the ending by just doing eight of them. I'm doing them all. There is not a universe where I don't solve all of them. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing them all. But it'll be interesting to see how long that's going to take me. Because they are tricky. But yes, uh, that is it from me for now. Thank you so much, everyone. 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 I can't speak. I gotta sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time. Bye-bye.